Hey everyone, today we're going to be discussing Model G versus Model A. And oh, yeah, and I'm going to do this with Ben Vaselan, also known as Ben David. Ben David is very well known in Model G circles, probably one of the most prolific um, proliferators of Gulenko's model of socionics. So he's going to be showing us a bit about Model G today, and then we're going to be discussing it seeing if it holds up to scrutiny and yep. seeing if model a holds up to scrutiny and uh, as a little preview we can sort of say that both models need to be held up to a bit of scrutiny when it comes to uh scientific verification which is mm. something we'll get into later on because i have a surprise for you right but okay. uh in terms of the so if so look there look your channel has been recommended. Oh, lovely. So hopefully you will return the favor. Oh. Right. So this is just what's on my channel. There you go. People can see what's on screen. I don't need to read it out. But then again, type pattern pros, if you're interested. Victor Galenko, mm. the man of the moment, 21 videos with him. Just mm. move this up because people can see this. OK. So and then move would you would you be able to just tell us a little bit about Model G to start off with? Right, I'll just get uh, there's my plan. Then I'll okay. I'll uh, Model G. Well, Model hmm. G. Well, Model Model A is arranged in a supervision ring, as you know, the two ones which rotate in different. Let's go. Let's go over here. Here we go. We have Model A on the left, or I've rather chiefly called it Model A's. And yeah. then we've got uh, Model G. You've got a supervision ring here where it goes like this. And then yeah. one that goes like that. And people can see that it's a mirror image from the, and you've got the mental and the vital rings. You're the king of Model A, Jack, in yeah. English. So the, so the idea of this supervision ring is the idea of, instance, take an ILE, which is the model presented here with Model A, ILE, ENTP for more MBTI-oriented people, though their types aren't exactly the same. Now, you can see that ILE supervises the LSI. And so you see any -E and TI over there, extroverted intuition, introverted logic, that would supervise LSI, which would be introverted logic and extroverted sensation. And as you can see, you've got in um, slot one and two, NETI, but then slot two and three, TISE, so that would be the the information elements of an LSI. But then if you follow it around in this loop, you can see that SE ends up next to FI, which are, which are the functions, or the information elements of an SEE, because the LSI supervises the SEE. And then we get to EII, FI, NE, because FI is then next to NE. And then it goes around the circle again. So EII supervises ILE. So that is what we call a supervision cycle. Uh, I have graphics on that. So one of the points that Jack mentioned was vertical blocking. Here is also the supervision ring for the causal determinists, where you have oh, SEE there. So you can see the ring. So, so sorry, what, what is also um, the supervision, supervision ring, Ben? This. So this is model G. Model G. Model G. You have to think outside of the box. Good. But that's because this is part of the arrangement of model G, the vertical arrangement, mm. and uh, something else. And you mentioned supervision rings. Oh, that's the benefit ring. There's a supervision ring, and this is also linked up with forms of cognition. But I don't know how kosher this is for all. Okay. Socionists, yeah, but, but, okay. I guess what people are just trying to establish here, just for the sake of the audience, why are we showing these rings? What's the point of it? Because you brought up supervision rings, I did, I did. But why, but why, um, why is this going to help the audience for understanding model G? <sighs> Good point. Because you mentioned that model A is arranged mm. in a supervision ring, I'm yes. just showing that that model G is secondarily arranged like that it's just less obvious and as i said with 
So we've got a certain sequence to get through. Oh, so well, fair enough, fair enough. Go on. This is just Elena's. This this website is Elena and Victor. Yeah. Uh, Aintono.com. This is Victor's website, Socionics. Where's the URL? Okay. Uh, anyway, people know what that is. Yeah. This is somebody who's helped me a little bit. No, I'm sure. Berwend. And uh, so he's got a blog there, and he'll be writing about this event. So if people okay. want to know more about Model G, uh, that is the blog of David Mark Kersey, who is LII a lot. Now, this is something you brought up because we can get into it now with the experimental, because we can get into the background with it, with the experiments about how model. Okay. So, so you said here, um, what's this? Ben didn't have an answer to that, but I wouldn't expect one. It's more something you have if you have a science degree like this. I did apply biology. Anyway, it's did not you? about my credentials. Oh, fantastic. And I did intermediary metabolism, and it was oh. boring. Well, I, uh, Ben, I apologize for implying you didn't have a science degree. But you're right. The reason why I couldn't answer that is I did not have all of the data available. And this is something which comes up from okay. Victor, is basically the experiments with socionics are rubbish <laughs> but from a proper science point of view, in that we don't get the independent tester. Right. OK, so... When you say this is more scientific, what is the science behind it? Wait, 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 wait. When did I say it's more scientific? No, no, you said it's more scientific. What is the science behind it? No, when, when did I, what did I say was more scientific? Well, you said you put together the data to establish this idea of a Model G as more support. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I was just saying that the way we're doing okay. it is that we can look through the issues with like the like the research that was done and the limitations of it i'm not going to pretend it's great stuff yeah and so and this gives people some background because victor's because model g is a part of humanitarian socionics it builds on yeah. other concepts one of the things that people that people might be almost alarmed by is all this stuff with functional charges and where that comes from and the fact that that relates to left versus right spinners, i.e. results and process types. Yeah. And this bit here is a little bit cheeky, but it just shows you the sort of like the quarrels that you get between the different schools yeah. of socionics. Well, one thing I just want to say for the audience, sorry for interrupting, but I just want to make sure you're on the same page as us. So process result is a reigning dichotomy. It's a Raynian capability, other dichotomies, different types, certain types known as process types, other types are known as result types. And so this idea is something which Galenko has taken in his creation of Model G. Yeah. It's, there's no point in me reading that out because people have already no, seen no, it. And it'll, and it'll sew no, things no. up. And here's a little bit of his point of view. And again, here saying it's not great with the science. And he and I've got reports where he talks about his own experiments and that because I've taken screen grabs, I've got some good yeah. information from because uh, yeah, fair enough. Because I, I, what I would like to see for these experiences, the methodology, how it was done. Yeah, it's not. I'll I'll just show you what, and I've also yeah. I'm going to try and get an experiment translated by Andre. It's quite a long one. Uh, it's one that was done in 2013 on vertness. Andre Kuhn. Uh, Pardon? Which Andre? Uh, Andre Y, I list him as in my as the interpreters and profiles. Okay. So cool. this might so this guy, Kirill Kravchenko, he basically uses Victor's school of socionics. And okay. I think this bit is true that his focus, and he's, he resembles LSI, that the main focus of socionics was the improvement of the relations. And that's why these and that's why there's a big focus on these these small groups and we'll get into that in a moment this we'll look at at the end these are the points that jack brought up and me rebutting them uh right i'm just going to mention a little bit about what alsha said about energy and then we'll get on to the experiment stuff which is this slide here um so this is the thing where 
Alshua mentioned energy quite a lot. And okay, yeah, right. which, which would also make sense because Kapitsky talked about an energy, yeah, but we'll get into that because I mean, Kapitsky talked about energy metabolism and said that it was the idea of how we digest food, yes, but this is a different kind of energy. This is yes. this is psychic energy, psychic energy, not the kind but of stuff I was doing in my degree with intermediary yeah, metabolism and no. Krebs TCA cycle. But, but could you tell me a bit about what exactly psychic energy entails? Well, I've got that in slides. Okay, fair enough. Uh, long, it's the part work. of the sequence because I want to show the, the stuff on the experiments. You're keen on the experiments. Yes. And then the benefits. So we do all the stuff with the group. And then there's loads of stuff on energy because I've added new new notes. Uh, so here. So you can see. And then this is one of the things that we'll get to later on because a big issue that we had in the first event was comparing mobilizing and suggestive in terms of these when we're using metrics of information and and how it's very nuanced that and that's in part of the paper right so that's a preview we'll come back to that we've already looked at that okay now, now this is part of the arrangement of model g and the sort of like the premises that it's built on so i'll read this out for the audience yeah. Uh, why model G is arranged differently from model A? Alshra made the claim that the socion develops thanks to relations of social benefit. Relations of social benefit supply him with cutting edge human experience and enable the mobilization of the most developed elements of the psyche of each person for the use in accordance with the emerging needs of society, like the focusing intellectual energy. Sorry. Yeah, like focusing intellectual energy into a sharp ray, into a focused laser beam. Right, and then I'll say, Andre, for energy metrics, which we'll get to later on, because this is just the preview for the benefit ring stuff. For energy metrics, see the inflation avoidance block. Right, and then, uh, so why does the psyche of an individual line up differently? It is logical to suggest that internally the psyche is moved by the social benefits, not a revision. Or we can make the following conclusion, uh, syllogistic inference, that on a social level, the energy component has a priority over the information component. Experiments on rings of social benefits by Schechter and Coburn Scaler showed that there is an activation within a group, increasing levels of activity. Now, what I will say, mm -hmm. Vic, there's a little bit of bias there, a little bit of LII bias, in that LII is a want to do this thing about scalability. And you get a lot of that on David Mark Kersey's blog, where they think the, the structure will repeat on different levels. So you see Victor's got it there, where he thinks, well, the benefit ring on the social level should repeat in the mind. Yes. And there, that, there, there, there is no good basis for that. Yeah, but, there's no but, actual, but I'm just saying that that's yes, a bias but, of LII. No, fair enough. But OK, so we've talked about this experiment. Will we be exploring the methodology of this experiment by Schechter and Cobbett Sky? I will show you what, what okay. is available and then we can uh, okay. but Fine. It, it's not it's not fantastic. Uh right. Because right. the entire basis of a reason for having this model in the first place. Well, no, 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 no. Well, the thing is, it's a lot of observations by Victor as well. But if you're gonna come at it from the angle of oh, we need scientific proof. I can really turn that around at you, Jack, and say, hang on a minute, you've had 40 years in Model A land to come yeah. up with some experiments to validate things. No, but the there is an empirical observation, which is the entire basis of this, whereas for Model A, it's about a very careful deduction from basic well, action. Yeah, well, well wait, you're framing it as that. You're framing it as uh, it's coming from this. There's also deduction going on with Model G. Because okay. they know about these relations. It's not solely based on, because I know you framed the video as, yeah. oh, Victor looked at this paper mm. on benefit rings and decided to create a model based on it. That's not, you know LIIs don't work like that. Okay, right. but where is the deduction? Because it looks to me as if a deduction well, is based on faulty bases, such as the result, the process result dichotomy, 
which, as we know, is hard to actually deduce from the very basic dichotomies of information and function. Well, in a moment, I'll go through the information I have. You see all these slides? These all have to do with experiments, what I could gather. Okay. Uh, what I got from both Victor and uh, from other sources. Okay. Because um, it, Ben, just at this point, right? The whole basis of Model A is that information can be categorized in certain ways. And if you look at each of the dichotomies for why they're categorized in certain ways, say external versus internal, or something being objectively shareable or interpreted, it seems pretty straightforward. And it's quite hard to deny. But it seems from this that the reason for this coming about is that there is a certain psychic energy that occurs when you put all members of the benefit cycle together. But, but the information aspect that you described is part of the model. That's why I showed you the stuff okay. with the supervision rings before. And also, you need to remember, well, uh, yeah, who yeah, came but... up with the forms of cognition, which is all about supervision rings and all about information metabolism? Victor Galenko. Okay. Right. But so, it doesn't necessarily mean these correct here. But I need to show the evolution. We will and, go through the and, evidence. And, the, and, 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 and also, regardless of the supervision rings that do occur in, in Model A, they do occur in Model A, that is not the emphasis, the focus for how anyone actually uses Model A, in, at least in the West. We talk about the strength of, of um, information elements, the value of them, and Model A happens to have a good way of presenting many different function dichotomies together and coming together to form an understanding of the type. Right, I'll move on. So I'll okay. just give you an introduction to the experiment and then the next ones are about, actually the next two slides are about Victor and his experiments and the difficulties that he's had. And then I'll actually show you okay. this experiment that's been referred to because last time I didn't have it. Um, and if it's not got all the details there, don't blame me. That's their fault. Right. Um, right. So what we got here? Okay. So basically what we got here. Experiments on the social ring by Schecht and Kobinsko showed that there is activation within a group, increasing levels of activity. Once this group gets activated, members feel and act as one. According to the same experiments, inside rings of revision, Opposite is observed. The group decelerates, activity plummets, weariness accumulates, and cause of exhaustion and illness. Well, and then I'll just then I'll get, I'll get going with this bit. Uh, such groups tend to break apart. Then why should interactions between individual functions within the framework get in the way of productivity and extinguish the energy of the psyche? Right. Okay. So he's thinking if you arrange it in a supervision ring, then it's going to cause a log jam. That's a bit of a in TI argument, time, but no one in Model A suggests that you should be putting together supervision rings. We talk about people being in the same quadra rather than being in the supervision ring being a especially good outcome. And it doesn't necessarily make any more sense for benefit to make it be a good outcome. Well, well, Maybe, you know, and let's assume it is a good outcome if you happen to have a benefit cycle together. If you say you, manage, you have to find an ILE, you have to find an EIE, um, an SCE, and you have to find a, hang on, which one was it again? Um, hang on, L LSE, yeah, LSE as well. So you put all those four together, nice. right? So you have to almost force that situation. It doesn't happen very often, very naturally for those four to get together. And then all that ha needs to happen is one to drop out and suddenly you lose that benefit cycle again. And you see how precarious it is because each type can provide a little bit in an mm. not entirely um, desirable way of the other person's suggestive, but I've they got, can't do it back. I've got it's loads of slides scary. on that. I've got loads of slides on that after the experiment stuff, which you were okay. big on in the previous events. I, I'm big on many, many things. Right, I'm big on many things, and it's I'm all been sequenced. About this. Right. Um, so, what was his point? He, he, was, he did one of these scalable things again. Yes. It did a scalable... He, him thinking on different scales in terms of, well, in a supervision ring, the information doesn't flow very well, but Model A is already in the supervision ring. And anyway, that's that's a little bit TI, but it'll go here. Right, so he thinks it gets in the way. 
the other stuff there we're going to come back to that because this is the lead into the experiments now what i thought i would do is i would put victor in talking about these experiments and then i'll put the actual paper in which is this one here that says small groups it didn't pop up on your end so do you want to read that out and comment on it okay so glenko's idea is an experimental verification of order rings Most oh that's social benefit folks okay most often i conduct experiments with energy rings during socionic seminars and training courses the difficulty lies in the fact that it is almost impossible to assemble people of a right type to compose four rings of an order with the time and material and organizational resources we have yeah that's right okay in addition for successful and clearly convincing experiments the types of participants must have a brighter contrasting profile otherwise all patterns will be blurred we almost never have such a picture. Therefore, it is necessary to make a compromise and conduct an experiment even with groups that are incomplete in composition or number or with volunteers with appropriate accentuated functions. There is also a certain middle variant when partially there are representatives of necessary types and partially not, and then their functional substituents are used instead of the missing types. So in other words, why bother? Well, I mean, you, are, you, are you making perfect the enemy of the good? No, I think, well, yes, perfect is the enemy of the good here. How is this meant to be a, a model which helps anyone if you can never get these people together and it's difficult even in a controlled experiment? It's not solely based on that. I mean, I could turn it around with Model 8. It, it is more, uh, how no, it, it is amusing to call it the fact test. It seems like such a peripheral point, but placed in a strange point of um, importance. Almost like um, in the story of a Mikado, of a Lord High Executioner, taken from the county jail by, by a set of curious chances. But at least you've got Victor trying to do things with experiments. His issue is getting others to reproduce them. And he mentions about the fact, because he says that, hey, I'm interested. I've got an interest in this. I need people to, but it's difficult to get people to uh, reproduce his experiments. But Model A is a lot more popular. Why haven't they had experiments that have been reproduced? But the whole bit, this is the entire basis of the model for why it should even be offered. It's not you're, you're, that's how you're framing it. That's how you're framing it. You're framing it as this model is based on just these experiments. Well, I mean, he's clearly well, why is it a different rule for Model G than for Model A? Well, because Model A is based on logical axioms about how you classify different sorts of information and how people vary in their metabolism of these different kinds of information, which is a very straightforward and actually quite a useful way of looking at how personality is likely to differ. OK, what, what I can say, I can reframe it like this. Model A has grown out of Model A. So Sorry, Model, Model G is. has grown out of Model A and has accomplished this information aspect, which I'll get into later okay. on. So if you want to go through this, this is more stuff. Okay. This is what you want. I'm just looking forward to seeing what the accomplishment is. Do you want to read through that? Yeah. If you could show me the accomplishment, that would help everyone. Yeah, but, but, but again, you're, you're judging Model G from a different standard from Model A. You're saying that Model A is metaphysical, Model G oh, yeah. has to be brilliantly scientific. Oh, well, I'm saying the Model, Model G. G be, yeah, but if Model G is to be metaphysical as well, what is the metaphysical basis of Model A, of Model G, which makes it also helpful? Yeah, but it has all the stuff with the order rings and all of the other stuff. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but, but, okay, the forms and conditions yeah, are yeah. very metaphysical because they're based on dichotomies. Yes, there's a hell of a lot. I mean. He's LII. There's a hell of a lot of metaphysics going on with Victor. Mm. But, but, but it's how we're framing this, Jack. You're trying to, it, I'm just saying that there's all the TI stuff and then there's the experiments as well. I'm being honest by showing what experiments he's tried to do and, and the limitations of said experiments. So if you go through this. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's very admirable. But I'm trying to still consider what is, is one this experiment that hasn't worked so well, fair enough. But also, why do this experiment? What's this experiment trying to demonstrate? Well, he does many on them, but it's like I said, there's a whole process. 
yes uh, to get through and in this and the next slide will be about one that i hope that gets uh translated i think i can send it to you it's in a google translate at the moment the translation is not very good as i'll mm. show you but if you go yeah. through this because again it's victor's thoughts on scientific experimentation yes So this is something which has actually been tested? Yes, the, the issue, Victor knows the issue, because he does experiments all the while. But as you said, you know, you need, um, they need to be reproduced by uh, people who haven't got a vested interest. Hang on, this is where to start, is to split the general group to extroverts and introverts, pair dialogues to visually verify reliability of the splitting, and then check separately the extroverts and separately the introverts for questivity and declability. Yeah, well, asking, um, declaring. Asking, to, so how, how, okay, that's another reigning dichotomy, okay. Yeah, I had to ask. The last, uh, the okay. last polarity, if you remember, I interpreted as a concentration dissipation of energy. We would take, for example, two extrovert rings of different pulsations, run radical, concentrating energy to the extent of explosion, the other moderate, dissipating energy, not allowing critical energy to release. Okay, so they're measuring energy. What, what is energy? What is this psychic energy? How, what does it look like? I'll get into that later on. <laughs> okay, but like we need that to understand this. Oh, right then. It's like you're putting the cart before the horse on all of this. This is why I'm. A, um, people right, okay, the okay. We're gonna go. Yeah. We'll do this bit then. Right. Yes. So we will go to here. Right then. So, but now we're doing it like this. We're gonna do all the energy stuff, please, and then okay. go back to the other stuff because this is a whole section right right then so what have we got here oh hang on a minute yeah that's right yeah so this is uh the whole thing okay and we're going to zoom in on certain bits because it goes a bit it's not exactly brilliantly clear uh but so here's a very important thing I think this is bold and cautious in Model A, societal, personal. I used to call it externalities, internalities, but it makes it clearer to say societal and personal. Right. Uh, and Andre retranslated what I was working off originally. So this is an explanation of the externalities, internalities. And this is important because this is where you get the supervision room. Hmm. So externalities quarter activated by external stimulation of a function in the launcher position. Okay. Yes, um, you see, it's important. Even though you say, oh, it's on the right, it's not important. No, 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 you haven't demonstrated it's important. You just demonstrated that there is some reason they have. You haven't demonstrated it as being an important reason. Yeah, but you're the one who said that, says that it's important. That's one of your criticisms. You said, oh, it's important. It shouldn't be all the way on the right. Well, I mean, that you, usually you'd want to arrange your model so that one, it's coherent, and two, it's also going to help people to understand other people, if it's a personality theory. Um, the significance of this launcher, that it's meant to launch other columns, it's meant to launch a process of energy metabolism. Okay, what, how does that help people to understand the personality type? But I could say such things about various things in Model A. Okay, we'll, 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 that will play out later on because I've got a whole okay. section on that. But again, you want about energy, right? Okay. So, yeah. and part of the context of energy is uh, distance, and this is and this is the other part of the arrangement of it where he's, and it's part of the benefit ring. While in that, in terms of socially useful actions actions in society and so mm. then he's got the idea of the social mission right and social adaptation mm -hmm. but that's like i'll have to do that later on because we're on the energy part of it and then okay. we've got uh the internet is the personal row and so this is one of these things with um i'll get into that later on so what's this right vertical blocking 
But again, you wanted to know about information. No, you wanted to know about energy. I want to know about everything and understand what the point of it all is. Right. Well, it would be easy if we went in order. But you also say that you want you to bring the well, audience. Ah, here's some information. You can read through this. This is from a PDF in 2015. I didn't show this last time. Okay. Along with a sequence of steps, energy supplementation is gradually reduced. The regulating block has maximum energy supply. The implementation has optimum result presentation, has minimum. And the new data has pessimum energy supply. Okay, so you've got the maximum, minimum, pessimum, um, etc. Right. The behavior of any complex system has not just temporal, but also spatial dimension. Right. When you say spatial dimension, it means um, distance. The societal versus personal thing. Sorry, the dimension of range. Okay, this is the thing. These are, words. The, these are words, and when I ask for explanations of these words, I get more words, but I still don't get any further clarity. Okay, what do you want to explain? Well, what what is this spatial dimension, and why is it um, relevant to exploring psychic energy? Ah. Hmm. <sighs> We'd have to I go through that I again. I feel as if okay. I'm a very, this still feels no more transparent to me than when we began. Okay. I'll go out of sequence again. We'll go to energy. So we, went, we did this one before and we did this one and we've done that one. Now, here's some more on the, uh, oh, no, we went through this before. We didn't go through the, the yellow things. Right. So. This this bit's important. Uh, however, each of these actions, not to mention the implementation of the, of the solution, requires energy costs. In mm. addition, each form of mental activity, i.e. function, requires a certain level of activity, which means energy costs. This is the laws and dynamics right. of these processes that describes the type of energy metabolism. Okay, so there are energy costs. But, but what is what is the energy? What is psychic energy? Well, there are various. There's these. There's a few next slides to go over that. Okay. So, is there here any we go. One sentence explanation of what psychic energy is. What it comes. It, it this this metric will explain things. It's the okay. equivalent of blue colossal dimensions. Here we go. There should be a difference between information and en energy metrics. For Model G, energy metric is more interesting, applicable, important. This metric is understood as the degree of freedom to perform a function that occupies a certain position. The minimum value of a metric is assigned to the energic pessimum function. For example, the eighth function, which only has one degree of freedom, it is either on or off, okay. it is always on, i.e. a person cannot stop a person cannot stop so controlling the environment around themselves. For, exa for example, administrator cannot stop monitoring and controlling the order in the environment, i.e. use function L. Seventh L plus. Seventh function is two extreme values, not showing up or showing up in force to its extreme. So that would be like polar and roll. For, oh, no, that would be polar. Uh, for example, mentor, that's the NFT, E, E, I, E. Mentor yeah. most often pays attention to their outer look, i.e. function S, comfort sensor, but under certain circumstances may neglect their own looks. Functions with the most degrees of freedom, multimetric functions indeed have the most degree of freedom. The maximum function, i.e. the first one, has the most degree of freedom, i.e. with at least eight different ways of manifesting itself. If you have an SE function in your first position, you are able to both push and retreat can perform solo or in a team, join the competition or wait it out. So functions in multimetric yeah. positions are able to express themselves in varied and stable fashion. So already looking at that, I don't see how that is at all different from strong and weak. There is a bit more to it. There is more to it. Right then. So this describes now, I've only done it like this so that it's easier to read. The okay. actual form is like this, horizontal, folks. But I'll just put it together so that it's more readable. You know? So, 
a lot of a lot of model g is about the implementation of a function and i make this point here in yellow but i'll go through the maximum and then you can then you can see if you disagree with it the maximum energy functions in this column are full of excess power and take the largest portion of energy from the psyche's energy potential dominant okay. takes dominant takes more than auxiliary demonstrated that's uh model a created which is the strongest function at close range these mm. functions are responsible for the constant generation of a communication field around the person the more powerful each function is the more its field is felt and its operation covers a greater area note lower row is sh is short range so the communicative field of the function in position five is context dependent i is on its territory any questions about the maximum it sounds like leading and demonstrative yes lay yeah. yeah you have you have the um the information for those things, but you have to just have the en the energy to implement it and yes. it's when you it, but, yeah that's the same as strong and weak strong and bold specifically it's a, a function which is both strong and it's bold we also call that four-dimensional it has this what is model g adding here okay well we will, it will come out in the wash <laughs> okay it's good yeah. I, I hope the wash doesn't take so too long right well it might optimum energy power the optimum energy function in position two receives that exact amount of energy it needs to solve any given problem related to fulfill the social mission so because this is in the social mission block you've got these you've got this kind of blocking that you're not exactly a fan of so you would yeah. have and, it, and again it depends on the role being enacted so like the creative and the suggestive yeah but this blocks it in terms of a, a, a social role so for example do you agree that ILEs, ILE resemblers are innovative people? I think that is largely accepted. Right. And so you're going to have blocking of TE, of, of NE with TE. And that TE is the servant of NE. I think that TE is a servant of TI with NE. Because it's a servant of both. Because because if you look at the process, it's not it's not just TE serving NE. NE is leader of it all, and it, NE has TI helping it out, and TE is feeding into TI in a very oh. fluid interplay. And this is why I call the type NE TX. Now Victor he goes even further. I mean he initially would call it in his letters. What would he call it? He would call it IP. You know that, so that would translate as NET, and I thought that's a little bit far. Uh, you, so you, I call it NETX. It doesn't easily call it IL. It still means the same thing. Pardon? It still means the same thing if you call it IL or IP. You're just referring to a different function. Each each one of them are necessitated by the pres presence of the I. Yeah, but the way I put it, it emphasizes the, the dual, like, as you say, as you pointed out there, because you brought up TI. In, yeah, yeah uh, I, know, I know I brought up TI because TI actually blocks with any and it un helps us. Yeah, I know it does. Oh, extra nutrition is used. Information wise, it does. But it then yeah. but then you've got this situation of certain activities. So imagine an ILE inventor. Yeah, but but you say the situational aspect, then an um, ILE can be um, can be extroverted intuition and extroverted logic, which is what I'm probably doing more of now. But you could also have a Nihilee who's exercising their mobilizing function if any extra logic goes out the window. Yes. So what happens there? What about the Eilee, a comedian, the Conan O'Brien Nihilee? Well, I mean, I've got that. I've, I mentioned that in previous slides when I talk about various roles. And you, what, you mean comedian sort of doing the uh, performer role there, going to his role function? I brought that up in previous slides. No, we skipped over that. Then we'll get not, back to that later. Not going to say, well, there is nothing extroverted, sensation oriented about how an ILE tries to cheer people up. There's nothing at all about extroverted sensation. It's not SCE performer like an MBTI ESFP. SCE isn't the performer MBTI ESFP. They're very different. Uh, what you, about what about where you've got the SCE SE -E as politician? And politics is called uh, show business for the less good looking. No, that, that one that's 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 an idiom, right? 
to to that isn't the point the whole idea of politics is navigating social relationships for power that's got nothing to do with cheering people up and actually entertaining yeah but they have to they have to they have to uh, perform though well there is some performing but again it's like it's a demonstrated extroverted ethics of SDE. it's got nothing to do with the extroverted sensation so this idea of actually saying that an Eile is playing some sort of extroverted sensation role and actually enjoying it, it it's a role function they don't it, they don't actually do it for that reason it's because they're forced to it, whereas they do derive satisfaction from cheering people up from actually creating yeah. positive emotionality because it's a valued information element. they're mobilized are, function, not are you are you saying that SEE are not good performers they can be but that's not the point but yeah, there's the point though in the benefit ring is that it's role playing it's not type player yeah but when when you're the role function when when the AI is using the role function it's an unpleasant thing and that's when they're having to be a bit more assertive to get things done it's like me here it's like me i i actually hate interrupting you because I, I i would if i could i let you speak forever and so i can just count listening i feel there's a need for me not to do that and it's a bit uncomfortable for me that's my extra sensation role it's me interrupting applying a little bit of force well you're also taking things out of sequence so you want the you want all the energy stuff i'll give you the energy stuff so now we're on optimum okay okay optimum energy function in position two receives the exact amount of energy it needs to solve any given problem related to fulfilling the social mission mm. does that contradict anything about the demonstrative function in model a hang on let me read through it i'll get bigger See so that amount of energy it needs to solve any given problem. Well, that's the problem. The suggestive function is not going to be good at solving the problem. Yes, th th this does fit a cautious function, a, a cautious and strong function. And it actually fits what? the ignoring function rather well. It's just that the ignoring function doesn't like to be used. The ignoring function is a perfect example of using the, 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 the optimal amount of energy to actually solve a problem right. that we use at all. Well, I'll just show the audience which which functions we're talking about here. So in ENTP, it's T E and S I. Yeah. So and it, so an E an, an ILE is not going to be using S I to solve any given problem. Ah ah ah. Well, this is the, the, this is this thing that I mentioned before about the property of distance is very important. Okay. Right. So. Right. Oh dear. What was that? Minimum energy power. Noise. <laughs> okay. Minimum energy power. The minimum energy function applies to positions three and seven. So that is this column here. Also, oh, sorry, sorry, Ben. If you're going to tell me a little bit about spatial distance just there, because it became relevant to the conversation. Ah, oh, dear me. Right. Sorry, I so just. That's this this thing. Right. Okay. And it's also oh, wait a minute. And it's also one of these things in the sequence where I talk about comparing later on launcher and suggestive where i talk about all of the constraints on the suggestive function and how yeah. it's ranked and all of that but that's like it's best to go over that at the end after we've got through all of these ideas because that's a nuanced thing um but again societal and personal and again uh relations of social benefits social order so the societal row right uh that's not right on this one minimum energy power the minimum energy function applies to positions three so, and so, seven sorry, ben i just i asked sorry i just because i i'm really trying to understand this i am i'm trying and you you're you're presenting me the optimum energy and I pointed out that I didn't quite make sense for the suggestive function to be optimum. And you said, ah, well, that's where spatial distance comes into it. Okay. Yeah. So wh how? Because what you just Okay, so you want to go over that yeah. right now. You want to go, okay, we can go I right to the end. In under 30 seconds, if you right. can. We, we can go over that now. Uh, where is that here? Where, we, where we're comparing the launcher and the suggestive. Yeah. That's in this section. Because we're actually talking about how the it's really it's constrained, right? Launcher position has lower energy than suggestive, but has higher information.
Launcher and control functions are the most sensitive and are always on. They gather information. This can be seen as consistent with launcher being a 2D function and suggested being a 1D function in terms of information, although that is coming from Bukalov. They gather but don't metabolize the information as well as 3D and 4D functions do. The launcher function is chronologically first. Because you were saying in one of your criticisms that the mobilizing function was downplayed in importance. So, SI and how SI is, uh, it's got these little, it's got these constraints on it in terms of its use. The suggestive function is constrained by the creative function via the vertical supervision ring. Its energy level is optimum when the auxiliary function is free from supervision by the lead function. It implements the auxiliary function. E.g., LII gets emotionally expressive when expressing ideas. It's important to remember that the launcher function is a longer ranged function than the suggestive function because the launcher function is in the societal row and the suggestive function is in the personal row. And then something else that you've brought up about why SI was uh, put where it was, uh, there's another thing to consider. Uh, SI has a higher energy metric than those, these two valued functions, break FI and control NI. So they have to come after it. So NE and T are agreed upon as being stronger than FE in NETX. So it comes down to the energy component of 2D SE versus 2D FE in NETX. SE is the same uh, EP mindset, so what flexible active mindset as lead NE. Because launcher is always on, it has a lesser degree of freedom than the role function. The functions are arranged in social order ring, aka social benefit ring. And then there's the bit with the metric that we went over before. And then you said in the previous one, oh, we won't be able to tell the difference between mobilized and suggestive. How will we tell mirrors apart? And these are three ways. So mirrors and suggestive can be differentiated by role versus point of least resistance. Well, that's not how you... So you pointed two different functions to tell apart these functions. Galenko, no, I'm just saying that's where you're telling apart LII and ILE. Sorry, but no. The, 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 the difficulty there is that they're not valued, and it's more difficult to tell them apart. Basically, you're saying... Well, you I, can, can, I can see FI polo in oh, ENTP right, right, right. easily. Wait, wait, wait. So you're saying that, okay, you can't tell these apart. You look at these other functions. No, I'm just saying if you're um, that's predicated on you saying, oh, if you go by that, you can't use mo you can't you can't split apart mirrors in terms of mobilizing and suggestive, and that even is that isn't even right anyway because I've shown the how strong launcher is. The rationale for telling apart mirrors by using the mobilizing and suggestive is that they value information elements, and therefore they're more likely to try to actually develop them, and therefore they're more likely to reach their limits in terms of how far they can develop. That's why I have an ILE and an LII. You know, both of them will be interested in FE and SI, but the ILE will have far more success with FE than the LII. But if you're doing role and vulnerable, they don't value these. So there isn't much reason for them to try to develop these. It entirely depends on the situation, what they're being forced to do. So that makes it far more conditional in terms of seeing an LII and an ILE differ in their use of extroverted sensation and their introverted ethics. That's why it's far more useful to use a mobilizing versus suggestive. So yeah, I, don't I can. Think this I, is helpful. I personally can see it a lot easier. I can see break SE versus uh, I mean, break yeah, FI a lot easier. And given that you've tried to suggest that the use of SE by Nia Lee of being a performer, I find it hard to believe. Why? Because as we just demonstrated, extrovert sensation as being a, a function, an information element of forceful application, has nothing to do with being a performer. There are different aspects to extroverted sensor. There's, there free, there's a freedom aspects. aspect to it. The, the, I, the, the, what the, I'm the, saying the, here... An independence aspect. Yes, I can see that. But that still has nothing to do with being a performer. What is performing? What is, what is that called? I will go back to... Are many actors and actresses frequently SEE? Sorry, are, are, are actresses frequently SEE? There SEE. are many. There are many actors SDE, but also many ESD actresses and many EIE actresses. 
you know, if you if you if you point to um, an area or, or a field that requires quite a bit of extroverted ethics, and you say have, have lots of extroverted ethics, you want to do well, you would almost certainly find SCEs and IEs there because it's a demonstrated function. That makes complete sense. What about the uh, ability to be in the moment and in the context? Yeah, being in the moment, being in the context, I know extroversion will help with that, but also ESE can do that perfectly well as well. Uh, but is that the is the is the emphasis of performing being in the moment, or is the emphasis of performing having an effect on people watching you? Ah, but you see, the best performance is you're not thinking about your performance; you're in the moment. Well, that's that. That is quite a questionable statement I'm, I'm not going to say it's absolutely wrong but there are many of very great performers who plan out their performances yeah it's well I mean, anyway the, that is a that is a whole issue but i suggest people look at the book directing actors by judith weston and yes there are many various ways of skinning a cat when it comes to acting i've heard that gary oldman is very much outside in rather than inside out like stanislavski yeah. um right then Oh, okay, yeah. the other ones, Gulenko mindset and left versus right spinner. That yeah. neither of them are well, I don't defer. I'm not going to criticize them yet because I don't quite understand what they are. So what what is what is one okay, as temperament, okay, I get that's temperament. Fair enough. And then left versus right spinner. What is left versus right spinner? What's well, process and results? So you're suggesting that it is easier to see process result and temperament and role versus vulnerable rather than just looking at the mobilizing and the suggestive no i'm just saying that if that's predicated on you being right about the launcher and the uh, uh suggestive but you're not right on that though i mean you can easily point to example this is this is a, con a conditional counter this one here right so it's not actually necessary okay right um well i, I mean it, it's it, it, you haven't convinced me that these are better ways but they are okay i guess you can find other ways of telling part mirrors than the mobilizing and suggestive but i think if you've taken if you've deprived yourself of your best tool for it then fair enough unless you're saying no there are better tools than that fair enough but, well no i'm just saying yeah. e even if because you you, you said uh uh you were looking at model g and you gave uh, a viewpoint you characterized it like this yeah you were looked at it like this and you said in one of your criticisms it looks like fe is less important than si because it's all all the way there on the right oh it's pessimum energy right and then i've given you these other conditions that show okay. how it is stronger now when SI. so, so when introverted sensation is suddenly opened up by a certain situation by say the presentation of ideas for an lii for instance they can become more animated so does that mean that an ile doesn't become animated and isn't more consistently animated across various situations yeah they are okay so why is that's the property of distance Okay, so, this is why I said to do this at the end because all of these nuances come together to explain. Uh, but, it, uh, but, it, but, it, but it but it seems so nuanced. But it seems impractical. If you're saying that you got to wait, so okay, okay, look, this is complete. This is not useful until right, this particular situation. You got to wait this particular situation when an ally in just the right circumstances may show extroverted ethics, which is comparable to that of an ILE. That is why it is to be put, put ahead of the extroverted ethics um, of, of where an ILE is put. I don't see the reasoning. I, I, it seems to me that unless you can show, first of all, you have to show one that the use of extroverted ethics by an LII in this very particular situation is significantly greater than the use of extroverted ethics by an ILE in all the other situations. Then you also have to show why this particular situation is likely to occur is actually quite important in some way it can actually help people better if you wait around for the situation to happen but this is just um so you are comparing mobilizing se in ILE to 
the situation where LII is at close range with with somebody. Okay. And the FE uh, comes into play. Okay. Now yeah. I have to... that graphic, I believe, up here, and we went through this in the first. Is that it? That might be it. Yes. Here we go. Reserves does not like small talk and is irritated by uninvited guests. Can't make him feel at ease. So in that case, not on your territory. But Number two. Fear. Number two is conditional. Can only keep a lively conversation if the topic is of personal concern to it. Okay. So again, limitations. Fair enough. I know the limitations. Although... Although unfriendly and abrupt with outsiders, for his loved ones, he can create relaxed and festive atmosphere. If necessary, can find an interesting aspect of a situation, find a way to arouse another person's interest in the topic. Well, that's demonstrably untrue. LIEs frequently struggle with find making other people aroused in their interest in the topic. But this this, this is LII. I'm going to say that an ILE is not going to be able to do that. But this is for LII. Oh, it's for LII. Yeah, I know that's for LII. So why why if why are you suggesting an LII, if necessary, can find an interesting aspect of the situation, find a way to arouse another person's interest in the topic? It is a frequent criticism of LIIs, but they can't do this. That's why they need ESCs. It depends on the uh on okay, the topic. Could you give me one example of an LII, who we both agree is an LII, who can find a way to arouse another person's interest in the topic? Me. Uh, ben, it's, it's, it's very difficult to say that you are good at arousing people's interest in, the, in a topic. Well, wait, 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 wait. How did you introduce me at the beginning of the video? You're one of the most well-known proliferators of Model G, but there aren't any other uh, proliferators. <laughs> that are is speaking English. And I was about to say that myself. It's not exactly a big pond I'm in. Well, so you make it incredibly difficult to be interested in Mold G. You don't well, make especially it when we do things out of order. No, if I were to I was trying to follow the order for how long? At least um, several minutes. And each time it was like... Yeah, but you said, oh, we've got to go to this and then we've got to go to that. Do so you kept changing okay. the order? Okay, so it was a bit better. Bit. So are you of the opinion that you... Are very good at or can find a way to get people very interested and have an interest aroused in the topics you talk about this is the aspect of condition it has to be a, a particular thing it's not like on the on the zero type of the intellectual level the way no. ile is no, no no fine 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 so in the particular thing so i imagine model g would be your particular thing yes yeah okay and so, econ as well i suppose okay so so you're saying that you are especially good at getting people interested in Model G? No, it's for LII, it's a case of uh, if you see them meet somebody with a common interest, mm. then they become expressive in that situation. Oh, okay, David so Mark Kersey ready? called it going flaky. But, uh, but wait, 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 Ben. Because that's when someone already has an interest rather than arousing an interest. Yes, but this, but, but this, the whole point of this is that this, this is conditional. This block dominates at close range territory. You have to, it has, the person has to be on their territory to display these things. That is why it says things like, okay. can only keep a lively conversation if the topic of his personal concern to it. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know we've established that. So you're talking about Model G. That is a personal concern to you. It makes complete sense. Nevertheless, I, w I wouldn't say that people, at least looking at the chat in this audience, I wouldn't say that you're doing a very good job of arousing their interest in Model G. Well, usually I'm not um, doing it all in one go like this with lots of new information with somebody who wants me to keep changing the order yeah uh, fair enough but we compare that to me right i've managed to get it's a good seven to eight people interested in model a just today and it was not hard for me but i was talking about something of personal concern to me which is model a it's in the same situation 
I'm far better at arousing people's interest in the subject. And why? Because my extroverted ethics is better than yours because it's my mobilizing function. Well, yes, yeah, so that, that, that is consistent with Model G. I've so, said about the societal versus the personal. I'm only really any good at close distance. Right. I have to so, be in my wheelhouse. I have to be on my territory. Okay, no, that's you fine. You don't. Fine. But are you saying then that I could also, I uh, mean, I couldn't do it at a close personal distance? No, but I think what would happen there is there's a, there's a, a close, you then start hitting the brake function with ILE at close distance. What does that mean? Okay, I would have to go into that profile. So, obviously, so you reach introverted ethics. Yes, because those things come up more, don't they, at close range? They can if you know someone very much better. Right. So yes. So yes. If you if you know someone very well and you have a relationship, that can be a difficulty. Fair enough. But that's going to have to do with arousing people's interest. That's about whether they can, you know, rely and depend on you as a close friend. Well. If, okay, if I was writing the profile, I wouldn't make it look like that suddenly that when the LII is on their territory, they become Mr. Wonderful. Maybe one of those bullet points was a little bit too far. But, 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 but there's but, another problem. There's another problem here, Ben. You, you, you've now chosen an issue, which is introverted ethics in the, as a break function. That's yeah. very specific to an ILE and an SLE. But you're suggesting, but these columns don't change. That is the personal co sphere, isn't it? So if that's the personal sphere. Then take, say, I don't know, an, an SEE. Is an SEE going to be unable to use their introvert intuition in a close personal sphere because of their break function? Given that their break function, which is introverted logic, has nothing to do with being close and personal. Well, I would have to look at the... Uh... See, it only applies to an ILE and SLE. That, that argument could only apply. But you're trying to show this is a universal thing across all types. It's that scaling problem we're talking about, by the way. Okay, and let's drill down on this. If you go through that again, I'll try and... Uh, okay. So, take, some let, so let, let's swap around. Let's get an SCE rather than an ILE. Right. So an SCE, right, as imagine the same rule um, for, for the function, their manipulative function, right? Yeah, or, I'll just look for the profile. Come on. So the same rule is that only in certain conditions in the close personal sphere will suddenly their suggestive function spark into life and be actually far better than, say, I don't know, um, an ESI using this particular area. Now, that would be their introvert intuition. Now, you would also say, bah, but their break is going to get in the way. OK, but what's their break? It's not introverted ethics this time. It's introverted logic. And the entire basis was saying that the break was going to get in the way for the ILE is because in the close and personal sphere. But the introverted logic does not apply like this in the close personal sphere. It's very much impersonal. So how does that square? Which type did you say you wanted to look at? Did you say you wanted to look at? We can look, we can look at any type other than ILE and SLE, and I'll be able to demonstrate my point here. Yeah, but my you brought up extroverted feeling and oh, well just because and so i and you and you would and you brought that up the fact that exactly that shouldn't that you were, you were given. Yeah, because we we're talking about extroverted feeling you were talking about uh shouldn't ILE be uh good at close range with their fe and then i said well at closer range more fi things will come up and i need to show yeah no that's that fair. uh that's that profile and you have and it's not necessarily going to be universal for all of the all of the functions necessarily it, it, i will look way, for it the only way it can't is if this sphere, these spheres like social intellectual if they shift around depending on the type do they shift around this this table or do they not Wait a minute, I was just moving some slides then. Please say that please say that again. Do do the spheres such as personal, social, do they shift around the table depending on where, say, introverted ethics is? Or do they stay put depend with um, um for every single type? They're in the same places on that table. Social, 
intellectual sphere and other spheres? I think so, but there's different levels. Uh, yeah, no, but uh, can, you, I just want to, yes, no, do they stay put? Do you still see that title above on your table saying that's the social sphere or does it move? Wait a minute, say that again. So if you go on that table, and the yeah. table I imagine it, sa it says which ones are the social sphere, which ones are the intellectual sphere. Right, so this one. Yeah, let, let's see. Where does it say social sphere? Right, uh, the top one, societal and row. Top. Societal row, right. So does that move around depending on the type, or does that stay put? That stays put. That stays put. Therefore, we cannot say that something which is specific to the social sphere and introverted ethics is going to apply for every single type because the social sphere is going to remain but the information elements are going to be different yeah but no longer yeah, but, the break function that's a problem yeah but i brought it up in the specific example where you talked about okay, fi because and fi is very much associated with that it's specific to it and so some of these things might come up in that uh but, but that but that, yes in which case let's look at a different example let's say the how does it work for an sce why is an sce not able so sorry why is an sce able to use their introvert intuition right yeah. um in these particular um per, close personal situations yeah. better than an esi right uh wait a minute i'll just Ooh, I'll go back there. That's not right. That's right. So please say that again about... Uh... Right. So let's say we're comparing ESI and SE yep. together, right? Yep. So we're going to say something like the ESI... Um, no, no, the SCE can use introvert intuition in yes. very specific situations yes. uh, and better than that of an ESI. Oh, Oh, I, I never said that. Well, that's what you're implying about an, I, an LII using extroverted ethics in certain situations better than an ILE. Doesn't that scale? Well, what's the point of a function if it doesn't? It's, they're going to be used in different ways, but all functions are used in different ways. Um, in general, right because remember i showed the, the thing about that all of the functions in uh, the societal row the bold functions have greater scope of use than the uh the cautious ones the ones in the personal row and so yes fe there would be uh we could arguably say greater fe uh competency in ile than uh, LII, but when the rubber meets the road, FI break and short circuit FE things in terms of the actual behavior. Okay, you know, I, I, I accept that, yes. Whereas, and so on a closer distance, you have LII, with their conditional use of FE that you might say, okay, it's as good or maybe not quite as good as ILE. But in that close relationship, and you've got ILE at a close distance as well, but at that close distance, the break function is likely to be more of a problem because certain things of personal ethics are going to come up. Yeah, no, no, that person, no, no at that distance. Uh, Yes, so extra, so ILE uses more extroverted ethics, but extroverted ethics can also backfire, right? But the point is the LII doesn't even start using extroverted ethics well. Yeah, they don't. They generally, I mean, in, in right. terms of long distance communications and sort of acquaintances, ILE definitely uses FE better than uh, LII. Yes. The so, difference is the different kinds of relationship and how close they are. So basically, you're, you're so there's the difference between someone who's running and tripping and falling over, and someone who's very carefully taking maybe a first step. Now, how is that first step going to be seen as being stronger or more influential in the type 
when the person takes the run and falls over and hits their face. Well, I haven't framed it like that. You're the one that keeps no, framing no, no. the yeah. suggestive uh, that I am saying the suggestive is stronger than the uh, uh, mobilizer. But we're trying to suggest that this is somehow this manipulative function or suggestive function is somehow worthy of an optimum energy level. It was just it's now just, I agree. Now I agree that mobile functioning is not worthy of an optimum energy level. It overplays it. But I don't see how a suggestive function is using just the okay. right energy to solve. Got, uh, so does a type want what is associated with their suggestive function more than what they want uh, associated with their mobilizing function do they want their suggestive function more yes they need it right so in that sense there's energy for it to be satisfied no they're frequently dissatisfied yeah but that's but it's there in the model though like conditionality in these specific situations where it gets satisfied that, that doesn't follow why how, how how is okay how is it satisfied for an lii to maybe in one particular example in the in the close relation but something they're interested in they may um get someone interested in their idea although they don't tend to be as good at it as an ile and given that no, no there's an interesting point Ben. think about it this way they do need it more right but that means there's also a greater need for it to be provided for it to be satisfied. So there's a greater gap between what they want and what they're going to get. Whereas when it comes to extroverted ethics for an ILE, there's far less of a gap. That's why they don't blend with a neck with, with no. a leading. That's why that's why mobilizing doesn't need leading from the other person, it just no. needs a creative. It needs a leading. One, one of the one of the tricky things is is you compare them, the energy level of something in the societal row versus the energy level of something in the personal row and in the societal role there's a lot more scope of use and general okay. competency amongst all of the well not all of them but so the greater scope of use amongst those functions they get more practice so when you say societal role, uh, role, do you mean that that's the, when the person is out there talking? Like, what we are, are we doing societal now to all the people watching us? Yes, Se I semi, I sort of, I don't know, might, I might get on. I mean, maybe in other events, I'm more on my territory because we, this is slightly adversarial. But no, um, well, no, I'm, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's. I'm just, I'm trying to understand. And I'm trying to get the information from you, which will help me and other people to understand. I'm not out to completely rip apart your model, although I may. It's not have my model; it's Victor's. Victor's model, fair enough. But you're you're, you're telling, and in the same way, model A isn't my model, fair. But I I actually sincerely believe that if you are able to give me a clear explanation that makes sense and answers my questions in the way that actually convinces me, actually you've got a good point. I sincerely believe I would change my mind to support Model G, but I have no sight of this happening because it's hard for me to get an understanding of what you're saying in a clear way. What do you want to know? <sighs> precisely. Okay. So what I would like to know precisely is what are the benefits to someone who is just, let's say you're presented with socionics, right? And your socionics general. Why choose Model G over Model A? Okay, so I believe that uh, Model A gives you an emphasis on uh, ego, super ego, super id, and id. And I believe that if you break it, break it into four blocks of social mission, social adaptation, self affirmation, and inflation avoidance, that is more useful to somebody than those i have asked you yourself what do you think of that split between mental and vital i mean do you believe that the vital ring is unconscious no i don't i use a different definition which is that the one's public and private but one's to do with our well do we say bringing social yes our interactions with the outside world and the other two blocks are what we more use for our own needs and we could look into that. For instance, ego block 
the area of confidence and strength, what we bring to the outside world. But then super ego, which is weak and not valued, but still public, it's where we are failing in the outside world and what the outside world expects of us, but we don't want to do it. It wouldn't be there if it weren't for the outside world. Then if you look at the suggestive function, the mobilizing function in super id, it makes sense to be more private. These are our needs and aspirations, not for other people. It's for ourselves and our own growth. And then if you look at ignoring and demonstrating in the id block, this is something which is strong, but we don't like to show it off because we don't value it. So we keep it private and we use it as needed to help our own uh, um, our own purposes. Straightforward to me. Right. Um, I I just I personally think that it's uh it's I it's more useful to me in making sense and seeing the complementarity between roles which i went through well if you put me slides back on screen please oh so did i take it off no no what i did is i took it off when oh, i okay. went to close okay. something okay i thought maybe before i was being adversarial because right, it's it your slide yeah, you want to see that we don't even see the experiments yeah. yet so now we can go back to the experiments about the roles right right there so i told you there was method in my madness with the sequence now, did we go through all of these? I, I still haven't seen the method, but okay. Right. Another version of test exercise of energy rings of different pulsations. Yeah. Is, okay, and another thing, what, what is pulsations? Where is it? There, there are so many words upon words upon words upon words. Well, upon this words. is one of these Google Translates. Where do we uh, get the context? Things. Well, it's, yeah, it's going to be about the, uh, the direction left versus right. Anyway, so no, this no, one. I'm not blaming you for this. They've just written right. it in a very obscure way. I know. Well, I mean, it, it's because of the Google Translate. This is an example of what happens with a Google Translate. Vertique. 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 French. Yeah. It should be vertness factor, but you get torsion factor. Vertness. I'm torsion. going to ask Andre Thank to you. translate this. So this is the paper that oh, Victor torture. sent me. Ooh. Okay, sorry. This is the paper that Victor sent me, and we can go through this. Maybe we can do a separate debate, because this is what we're going to have to do, is we're going to have to break it down into piecemeal things, because it's just too much for people to assimilate, no matter how good, well. But it, it, it just suggests to me that one cannot simply um, explain and one cannot possibly simply explain why Model G has certain benefits which Model A can't provide and are a reason for why one should choose Model G on balance over Model A. Well, I, I think it's uh, the... Uh, you see, you would say, and when, and when it does have a benefit, you will say, oh, it's included in Model A anyway, but it tends to be something which is sort of hidden away, whereas what is front and centre in model g is the um the idea of uh societal and personal and well, social mission and social adaptation well given that we have mental and vital which is a pretty big split and that already deals with the public and private that's pretty that's pretty front and center i'd say it's the top two versus the bottom two so uh, is that one's ver what one is laid out horizontally and Molde is laid out uh, vertically? They, they are equally front and center on this point, then. Right. So, this will be so you wanted to see the paper by Schechter and Cobrin Scare. Oh, oh, wonderful. Okay. Right. 1988. Okay, I thought it was twenty nineteen. Okay, nineteen eighty eight. Okay, um, study small groups give us the key to the to further practical implementation of socionics. Results experiments already show the rich potential small groups. Okay, surely typology small groups can find practical application in medicine. Okay, so this is more the, the 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 rationale. But let's get into the methodology. Can we go to methodology? Thank you very much. Um, is that methodology? Um. The psychological climate of a group is determined, first of all, by a level of mutual understanding in any attitude of people. That's not methodology. 
in the work well, of Raymond. I didn't Taylor. write it, so I can only go You're with fine. what I've this, got. This is still literature review. It's not methodology. Well, I know that. But... I know you know that. You got an apply. You got a um, degree in applied biology. But I, you, you, but therefore you appreciate as I do that it's the methodology that's important here. Well, and maybe we could do a, a, an event in the future where you try and show me some methodology for some Model A experiments. I'm not claiming that there's any sort of empirical backing for Model A. I'm simply saying that there is a very clear deduction based on axioms and that the reason why people should choose Model A over certain other models is because those axioms are very hard to question. They work out themselves very um, coherently and concisely. And as a model used non-predictively, it's very helpful for understanding the psyche. Why would you say non-predictively? I would say non-predictively because it's not a science. You shouldn't use socionics predictively. It's irresponsible at the moment. You should use it post hoc to understand what's gone on. If you want to use it predictively, that's when we really should start using experiments. Mm. It seems that other uh, that you can use it predictably with certain people is like because okay, this is the pattern of the individual you and they have an any... idea of how they're gonna act next. Well, we haven't done experiments to show that, and it could be a bit of fun, but it isn't something you should base a serious decision on. Not if you're advising professionally. You can use it to explain situations, but you shouldn't use it to predict what someone will do next and put money on it or put your... Well, not put, put money, but in saying interpersonal oh, interactions, you can have an idea of yes. what somebody is going to do, what their general tendencies are based on their, um, on your understanding of their psychology. Oh. Yeah, you, you could, well, on, on, the, on the basis that from observation of their traits, they're likely to portray those traits later. That is something which is reasonably verified in, in, um, in psychology in general. And it would only support socionics insofar as it supports but, other areas of psychology. In but, fact, that's what I would use to, uh, in, in making a case for typology, is I would say, hang on a minute, these models have predictive power. Is that if you find somebody who really resembles the type, then you can make predictions about it. And, and you've noticed that. You can predict things in people. If you see somebody who really matches a sociotype, hmm. you can make predictions it's not scientific, but that, that's like the, the power of it, the useful of it to you, is that you can help it in both yeah. understanding people and yeah. predicting their tendencies. There, there is anecdotal value. There is anecdotal value. That doesn't mean it is... A... Oh, you have you frozen? It's not me, is it? Have I, have I gone? Oh, no, I'm back. No, you came, came back. back. I came back, sorry. But yes, you can use it anecdotally, and often it can be to be right. It's just like with visual identification, right? You can spot yeah. certain, and you may use it anecdotally, and it may work. But you shouldn't rely on it. No, it's, it's, there's no empirical evidence to support. Right. It. Right. So you know what's included in visual identification? Well, the examination of physical um, physical appearance, and also for some movement. Ah, you see, that's the difference, the difference in body language. I mean, there's going to be a difference in body language between EII and SLE. Yeah. There'll be trends. We, we know that there are probably some kinds of patterns. We don't yeah. know if there are rules. In fact, they're probably not set rules. And we don't know how reliable they are. And we don't know how to clarify them exactly to the point where they're able to communicate them to everyone else and make sure that they can see the same things that we're seeing. At the end of the day, it boils down to certain anecdotes which people have yeah. They can rely on as a clue, but not be the be or an end all. And they really should, should still be looking at the psychology of the person, which is why when people start throwing away the actual psychology and just looking at the face, they aren't going horribly wrong in their typing. Oh, yeah, I don't like that as well. The anthropometrics, the Victorians try to do the same thing. It's like find yeah. the criminal characteristics of people's schools. And I, I'm just catching myself right now because I know what's happening now. We are going off on a very interesting tangent. Well, we are, but we're actually we're not because we're back on this. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, like I said, I I am presenting you with the evidence such that it is. I will try to get that other paper but translated, and maybe you can try and give a nudge to the Model A people and say, "Hey, do some experiments." Then we, goodness, but this isn't evidence. 
This is a literature review. You know this isn't evidence. You got a degree in applied biology. I know, well, but I, I can only show you. Well, I can only sh I can only show you what I have. You cannot okay. show me experiments in Model A. No, I'm, I'm showing you something which is imperfect. But entirely, it depends on what the, the tool for um, should suit the purpose, right? Very Aristotelian that. But the tool should suit the purpose. So what's the purpose of trying to use an empirical study? The purpose was to show that there is something to the psychic energy of a benefit cycle over any other collection. But it's the two getting but, a benefit cycle together rather than say but, all members of a quadra. But this is based on relations of social benefit, which is already part of classical socionics. You still yeah. want to judge model A that gets to be judged by um some uh, a priori method and yet and yet model g oh no we have to be judged by a scientific method even right. though a lot of model g is built on the same kind of axioms as model a but you um, want to judge us by a different standard no, no it's not built on the same axioms you're using things like process and result that's far further down in the sequence of logical deduction if you want to be like Model A, then you'll have your information dichotomies and your function dichotomies, which are pretty straightforward. You know the function dichotomies. they strong, weak, mental, vital, um, inert contact, bold, cautious, evaluatory, situational. When you put them all together, it gives a very good explanation of how different... Right, okay. Um, I have a graphic on that, actually, that uh, okay. I do... Andrew did it a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, here it is. Andrew Joynton did it. Ah, wonderful. I wonder if Andrew's still watching. Yeah, maybe not. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got the pyramid and we've got the, yes, the function dichotomies. Oh, he's done energy model as well. Okay. And I, I, I find it really difficult to see on here. Um, I can zoom in if there's, is there a particular area. Zoom in on just, just the orange one, and that could be very right. Helpful. Thank you. Okay, public, private. And is that in the same position as mental vital? It's bold, cautious. Uh, interesting. But instead, they've. Okay, no, no, but the, the, num the numbers aren't the same, though, so that doesn't matter. No, 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 it's fine. doesn't need the same. Look, see, one, two, three, four. Then um, model G is one, two, three, four again. But uh, what, what are those one, two, three, four referring to? Probably, it's probably it's what they're talking about as externality. Well, my, my, um, externality in model G, isn't it? Yeah, but again, public, societal, private, personal. Right, so there's a disagreement there on what is public and what is private. But if we look at the functions, so it's still going to be, so if you look at the uh, ILE, it's still going to be uh, any uh, SE, uh, FE, TE. It's still the same functions. Okay, okay, I'm just trying to get both models in my head at the same time. Okay, yeah. let's 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 suggest let's, let's go with Eileen again, right? So yeah. mental vital, right? You can see there'll be extra intuition, introverted logic, extrovert sensation, introverted ethics in that mental area, right? Now, if we go to energy model, right, they're using the term public-private, that's going to be extrovert intuition, then it's going to be introverted um, logic, then it's going to be extrovert sensation, then it's going no, to no, not in the, in the public is they're all going to be extroverted they're all, they're all the same vertness in the public because it's the same oh, oh okay hang on right okay yeah so it's going to be saying that the top the top row right that's going to be extra intuition it's going to be extroverted logic yes it'll be extrovert sensation and extrovert yes, physics. yes. So it basically matches up to bold, cautious, public and private. Yes. Okay. Right. Now, if we go to automatic informed, 
things. We need to know what these things actually mean. What do, what 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 does uh, so what does say public and private mean in uh, in Model G terms? Well, it's well, it's the it's pretty much the same thing, but they're slightly different. There's a separate article on that, so I could ask for that to be translated as well. Okay, if, so if it means if it means the same thing, then the contradictions are this: that extroverted ethics and extroverted logic are seen as public rather than private and also that introverted logic and introverted ethics are private rather than public that's that's where there are contradictions there so you need to look at what is the rationale for say extroverted ethics which is meant to be an aspirational function was the rationale for that being public rather than well private? it's the rationale is that the he's organized the societal row around the ring of social benefits and that it's public in the sense of performing a role hmm. that is socially useful and Auschwitz wrote that uh, relations of social benefit are the ones that are most important for the social progress right okay so the most important for social progress but of course, if you flip around for an introvert, there'll be introverted ones and most important for social progress. Yeah, so, the introverted functions will be in the societal yeah. area. Yes. So it's like bold, cautious in modern yeah. way. Those are the ones that are most important for social progress. Well, that doesn't really follow the rationale for why these things are used. I mean, if something's aspirational, then that means it's for you. I guess what, what does private mean then? If the the public ones are for social progress, what do the private ones? Mean? Well, it's on its own personal territory, hence the name personal or internalities. Okay, on, on personal territory. So used on the one. That's what we remember when we had that. So one to one versus so big group. Uh, display. Yeah, that's when remember when we were going over the FE and LII and having that argument about what the difference is between ILE's use of FE and LII's use of FE that that distance bold cautious comes into it okay you're more bold with your fe than me yeah 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 that, that's fair but but also i'm more bold in my extroverted logic than you are i'm more bold in my um yeah no, no that makes it it's not very good for using mirrors for that it's more i'm more bold in my use of extroverted ethics than say an sei that'd be interesting but okay fine so basically they've said that that is what's public and private it's a different meaning it's that that's more about what's given out energy like you could say which so which model a is also looking at um rather than what role you see it playing whether it's for yourself or it's for others yeah there's a the difference there there are, there are there are there are differences yeah. between the schools yeah. Because Annihilate, yes, happens to use more extroverted ethics, and Bold Cautious explains that. It's an aspirational thing. It's about the person is viewing it in terms of how they are developing. So that is there, there are different rationale there. So really, public-private is basically the same as Bold Cautious, and it's just given a different name for a slightly different reason, connecting up to social progress, but essentially they do the same thing. So yeah. let's move to another one. So let's look at master slave. Okay. Um, so master slave, extroverted intuition, extroverted logic, introverted logic, and hang on, that's the control function, isn't it? So master slave is basically like strong weak. Yeah. Okay. Um, so why is it? Why do they call it master slave? Well, they probably think that the, the slave functions serve. The uh, the master ones. The, the slave functions serve the master ones. Okay. What well, one thing I will co would comment, uh, Ben, is that in terms of showing things in the sort of you in a very useful way, one reason why I find Model G confusing is that as you see the way these are shaded, everything in Model A is symmetrical, whereas in Model G only some of them are symmetrical. probably when I look at it I feel I find it very jarring well it, it is going I mean 
does because it is it's it's going across the things that are in model a over there whereas say if you were to look at say if you were to put things like this uh social mission then you would have to put one and eight separate and so if you if you did it the other way around then that would be a bit more disjointed but it's because these things are coming from model a then yes it would appear more disjointed because but are, are these function dichotomies are these function dichotomies useful then in model g or are they not are they important in model g or are they not well this is like in the the original uh Model A, and certain ones uh, are because, like used more than others. Okay, I mean, obviously I bang on about public and private okay. a lot. So. Okay, but but there's another important point is that you're saying that no, it's not just that it's based in this empirical experiment, but for um, the showman of Bernard Cycles, like, actually you can look at it from a logical deduction point of view. Yes, it's that's right. Like, good, a uh, good. In which case, surely it would make sense that you treat the functions in a way where they come about from their function dichotomies. If that is so, it will make sense to order them in a symmetrical way, rather than quite arbitrarily um, plonk the manipulative function up near the management, the demonstrative and the creative. And as you can see, it looks out of place in the function dichotomies. What is the reason for it being there if not for the function dichotomies? And if it is for the function dichotomies, it wouldn't be there. Right. We'll be. Uh, this is that bit where the crux of the matter with um, and what you brought up in uh, in the first one is it's the placement of the lunch of the mobilizing and suggestive again. Yes, primarily suggestive and manipulative. Right, it, and I know, it, no, 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 right, it's both. It is both. Yeah. And you can see, if you look at the white right in the center, accelerate, decelerate, that isn't symmetrical. And so, because it's not symmetrical, I cannot see the rationale for why it's not symmetrical. Because there's no function that got me there telling me why it should be there. Well, what you have is the arrangement of model G, it's it has these function dichotomies, as you can see, but it's yeah. sort of like they are displaced by the arrangement in a benefit ring. Because it focuses on uh, horizontally on the benefit ring and vertically right. on the supervision ring. Right, exactly. So the reason why it's okay to compromise on the function dichotomies and what they are necessitating in the model the reason why you can compromise that is because of this other thing, which is the benefit cycle. And the reason for that being important is due to an experiment which we cannot. Oh, no, no, no. It's not do. just that. It's based on a whole lot of uh, a lot of experience with uh, seeing groups of people. Yes. OK. Experiencing groups of people. But as Victor Glenko has himself said, it's nearly impossible to get these groups of people together, as we looked at at the beginning of our discussion. Well, yeah, I mean, in former expert, but again, you are judging model A by uh, metaphysics, and yet, and trying and judging model G yeah. by no, 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 no. We, we against just, science. We we just tried to judge it based on metaphysics. We just did it right now, and it's failed. How has it failed? Because as you as you can see, you see the placement. Of the of a different information elements, different functions, so different place different functions in model G are not adhering to what can be deduced from the function dichotomies. It's broken with that, as can clearly be seen with the suggestive and the mobilizing, or in the language of model G, the manipulative and the launcher. So you be, you believe it's broken just because of the it's been broken. It's and shown it's graphically. Benefit, yeah, it's been broken for the purpose of benefit cycle. And you could say, OK, maybe there is um, an empirically based reason for making that break. But we don't have it because the methodology is not there. And then you say, oh, there's an anecdotal reason. But as Victor Kaleko already says, there isn't an anecdotal reason because you do not. It's, it was impossible to get enough experience of this anecdote. It doesn't happen very often. 
Glenkud said that. You showed it to me. So what wow. is the basis? What is the set of standards which we can apply consistently to both Model A and Model G, where Model G comes out on top? Well, that is a very good question. But it's... I uh, like the arrangement in uh, the benefit rings. The people who prefer the information uh, approach, the pure information approach, will prefer Model A. But at least now, you would, do you admit that the information metabolism is a part of Model G? Sorry, sorry. Did you just, did you just say that people who like a, a mixture of what's useful and what's um, logically coherent would prefer Model G? I think if you fail on both fronts, you don't win on either. I didn't frame it like that. So, 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 could you just repeat what you said? I said people who purely like the inf uh, the information approach would like uh, Model A, which is primarily arranged as an information model that right. has not been tested over 40 years, no, it's not been proven in an experiment, versus Model G, which incorporates... Uh, information but is primarily arranged in an energy ring and Victor Galenko is making efforts at experiments and because they're not perfect and because he's not the, got the funding to do them brilliantly the way you would like and then no, you're going to rubbish way, it. It's not even the way I'd like I just want to see the methodology it's not about perfection Ben you well, have a degree in applied biology Therefore, you, like me, should appreciate that if we can't get a methodology, then there is no value, let alone right. lacking perfection. Right. What we're going to have to do, if you would like, is to go through each exponent or a, any paper which is done I, I, I and like discuss any it. Any methodology for this. In detail. Now, um, well, there's not, there's not much in that because... If you let yeah. me show you it, yeah, I'll let you know how they did it. I'd appreciate that. It's not brilliant. <laughs> okay. I was disappointed. So you've said, have you seen this about homogeneous and heterogeneous groups? Okay, in which all elements are in the same intertype situation. Was okay. Um, okay, groups in which there are also three types of relations, but one pair of types in a symmetrical relation is in a better position. Okay, right. Okay, gotcha. Okay, right. so it's a, so heterogeneous is not a pure benefit cycle, whereas homogeneous is. Right. So, so they so they had a control then. They had a control. Right. That that right. that is promising. But, well, let's see. It's not brilliant. They just had them in conversations. So um, groups together form a class and take small groups. So, but what, what, what's the, the structure of a socion in all form of quadrilateral by complement? Because person said this is explanation. This isn't the methodology again. Where, where's the methodology? That's not my fault. They, they were not assigned any specific task. Just communication about twenty thirty minutes. Okay, that bit. Sorry, I, I should have looked at what you highlighted. Right. So they had a 25-minute communication, and what did they observe? Well, then you get all these results. Okay, and Quadra, so they did Quadra. Due to activation relationship, some stress arises. Thanks to this, all members are constantly involved, including generation and energy flow. So the stress is a good thing. Okay. So, right, okay, and now we've got bouquet. Oh. Super ego, business, and family. Right, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. So, all of the same temperament, you could say. Yeah. 
His lack of energy. Yep, unsurprising. Okay. And next, um, group ordering. Uh, good for work. So let's see, N-E-T-E. -E. Okay. So that's right. Oh, okay, this is meant to be benefit then. Yeah, social benefit. Yeah. Right. There's an excess of energy compared to other groups. Not exhausting, comfortable enough, but there's no sense of security, as in Quadra. Doesn't last more than 20 to 30 minutes, and certainly it is a plus due to... Okay. So now this makes me wondering. So it's not very stable. It's not very pleasant to be in it. Why is everything, um, wh why is the entire break away from the function dichotomies based on something which isn't useful compared well, to... Well, 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 it isn't useful. So why did, why did Auschwitz write about um, these relationships being very useful for the progress of society? One could be useful conceptually for the progress of society. It doesn't mean if you get four of those types together, they're actually going to have a more... Um, a better experience and even then we talk about the progress of society what is one talking about that is the taking away of basic information metabolism and putting that onto certain types so we can go into this idea of say extra intuition being potential energy and extra sensation being extra sensation being kinetic energy and how do you get from potential to kinetic you have extroverted ethics creating the motivation creating the um the, the enthusiasm to lead to action and then the action leads to certain um, concrete uh, properties changing, certain uh, resources, as it were, which in, and certain processes, which can then enable new ideas to develop. This is the idea of information metabolism being a sort of cyclical effect, sort of theoretically work backwards. Fair enough. But the idea you get from that is the idea of social progress. And then, okay, one needs to clarify exactly what social progress is. Why is it useful? Why is it better than any other arrangement? And it seems to me like some sort of thing, because it's called the social progress thing, is granted some sort of pseudo importance. Well, they think that it's at, at, it's at those, um, it's at the, it's at a sort of a distance where the the functions in the uh, the uh, let's call them the, the cautious functions are not going to be as shown in order to conflict with other people so say you've got a situation with uh, Ooh, a super uh, ego pair if you have a super ego yeah. pair the closer they are the more they uh the more the cautious functions are going to uh, sort of hit on each other but in certain relationships where they're further mm. apart okay those cautious functions won't so it's like the idea being that well at the level of um a certain kind of distance where there's a utility in terms of what they're good at, the social roles they play. And again, I had all this in these graphics. I had it all prepared. No, no, no. All I, in a sequence. Not, it's, it's not, I don't think the graphics can help that, Ben. It's, you, you're saying that the vulnerable function, say, it's like, as a cautious function, only becomes apparent in clashes at a very close level. Well, it's more when it's beyond the task. Oh, I think. What do you mean by beyond the task? Well, the task where it, it, it the task where the task requires the cautious, the, sorry, the bold functions more than the cautious functions, and so people stay in a mo in a mode of social mission or social adaptation. Um, so, for example, okay. when uh, say uh, ILE was in a mode of uh, theoretically, when they're in the mode of extroverted intuition with extroverted thinking, then that has primacy and the uh, introverted logic doesn't if they continue to act. Victor thinks if they stop and reflect, then the uh, introverted logic is coming in. So I have this for the other group. Now, this is the revision ring. Oh, sorry, sorry. So, so you take take an ILE, but the introverted yeah. logic only comes in when they stop and think. Is that, that is? I, I don't I don't I I think that is a too drastic way of putting it's, it. It's it not sounds, quite like that. It's in it a is, separate yeah. graphic. Okay, it's because 
it takes me back to the blocking problem that Galenka had to completely run roughshod over the idea of blocking. The idea that these information elements come together to form meaningful molecules of information. But, but they it, it is with... there in the blocking though, because you have got you've got any on top of Ti. That is or true. Or Ile. Okay, that is true. Fair enough. But what about the blocking of the role in vulnerable? That's important blocking. It's the blocking of failure. The whole idea that why would an ILE try to engage vulnerable function? Because it's being expected to enforce by society. And what normally happens is that they can use extrovertization, usually when blocked with introverted logic, okay, that can work all right. But as soon as it's in its full on super ego blocking of introverted ethics, extrovert sensation fails. And Niali is not going to be able to exercise yeah. or accumulate power by relying on their relationships of trust. I agree. If, if it depends yeah. how much the role being performed, what they're asked to do requires uh, the introverted ethics with the okay. force and so it's not going to. OK, no, no, fair enough. There is more of a situational component to it than there is, say, with the, the, the ego block. No, no, so, I, I think that is more reasonable. So what I have here, so this is for the revision ring, and then on the next slide I have Andre's thoughts on the translation, sort of re his little little improvements to do because this oh, is okay. just the Google Translate. Okay, just to confirm, Andre is not a person I know. Because I know I know an Andre, I'm not sure if it's the same Andre. No. Okay, good. If it's that Andre, I think he's been very busy. He's been doing no. something which I have no, no idea. About. No, fair enough. Okay. 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 So, so what are you going to show me? Sorry. Right. So, yeah, the revision ring. And again, you've got your vertical blocking. Yeah. The execution group. The execution group. Okay, let's take a look. So, I, okay, super, supervision search cycle, basically. Mm. No, no, is it? ILE? Oh, yeah, it is. It is a supervision cycle. Okay, and what does it show? Everyone was silent. Then tension and suspicion is felt. Seem to be looking for each other's flaws. Okay. One of the most negative groups. Yeah, yeah. So, we, so we've established, Ben, right, that the most negative, well, we haven't established, but this experiment seems to be showing that the most negative collections are supervision but that the benefit cycle isn't very good either it's quite uncomfortable that's what this experiment uh, suggests. but it is but but in terms of getting tasks done what have we got here uh mobilizing effect on the participants it gives them energy this is due to a mobilizing effect on the participants okay whereas they, you get a draining effect with the supervision ring you know fair but how about comparing um that to the quadra what do the quadras say? I think I remember it saying something sort of similar, but better. You can feel the mobilization of forces, security, confidence, understanding. Such a group is an energy hole. The rhythm of communication is... An energy <laughs> hole. <laughs> but it's calm measure. Due to the act activation relationship, some stress arises. Thanks to this, all members of the group are constantly involved, including their general information and energy flow. So it's both energized... And it's also quite calm and actually pleasant. This is the best of both worlds, Ben. So why are we looking at the benefit cycle as this bee's knees? Well, it's because that knees. is frequently, uh, uh, again, in terms of in terms of those relationships where you want to get something done rather than the focus on comfort. But, but no, but no, not just focus on comfort. You can see there is um, it is an energy hole mobilization of forces some stress arises the fact is that all members of the group are constantly involved including the general information energy flow this is getting things done then well one of the things is that now this is one of these presuppositions that one of the presuppositions victor makes is that you have to base these models on an asymmetric uh relationship so that you have some directionality to it and so your only options are supervision and benefit so jack i would like you to come up with a model based around quadras we have one 
It's called so, uh, Model A. That's based around the supervision ring. It's not based around supervision ring. It just happens to block the information elements together in such a way where you go around like this in a supervision ring. Yeah, and it's much. also it's in the theory though, isn't it? That the yeah. was it the top so, of those. Well, all you all you'd have to do in that case is take extroverted intuition, introverted logic, then extroverted ethics, then introverted sensation. But then you don't have blocking, and then it becomes not so useful. Right. We so don't, we don't we don't need to put everything together like this. We already have. We can see valued and subdued. We can see them. They're alternating um, rows in Model A. We, it, it doesn't need. To, well, I don't understand why everything needs to be put together to show a particular cycle. And anyway, Quadra isn't a cycle. It I is, know it isn't. No. So what? Why would you want to put it in the cycle? But exactly, if you're trying to, wait a minute, Model A tries to model the flow of information. This experiment very clearly showed there is flow, even with a quadrant. It doesn't need to, it doesn't need to be a, an, um, a circle of asymmetries to be a flow. Yeah, but you have that, yeah, but in the arrangement of Model A, you have the supervision ring in each uh, block, well, not block, uh, in the mental ring and the vital ring. Okay, fine, yes. And so there's, there's there's two if you want to do a flow there's two ways of doing it and uh, model g horizontally has uh the benefit ring and vertically has the supervision ring for information so now if you want it a little bit better english this is andre's improvement of the same text improvement of the same text so scientific experiment improved how improved what do you mean by improved he's just slightly improved the word and okay he's just translated it better yeah okay a modest group of four people they should be in social control represented according to participants this is a group of protect perpetual execution Communication is difficult. If anyone is silent, then tension, even suspicious, is felt. Participants seem to be looking for each other's something in orange. False. Yeah. Hang on, this is supervision again. Hang on, let's look at benefit. Hang on. A uh, homogeneous group of four people, relations to super ego and social order, social benefit right. are presented. There is some tension in the group. Interpersonal, thank you. Communication is diminished. Diminished. Feelings of emotional and intellectual balance. Okay. There is a feeling of excess of energy compared to other groups. Communication is not exhausting. It is comfortable enough, but there's no sense of security as in Quadra. The topics of conversation are almost unchanged. All participants note some specific tension in this group. Communication impairs, almost always fails. Almost always fails. Only when all together, communication is possible. Joining such a group after a quadra gives a sense of stability. Joining such a group after a quadra gives a sense of stability. So you have to be in a quadra first and go into one. Okay, such a group after a quadra gives a stability um, as long as the communication does not last more than 20 to 30 minutes. The mobilizing effect of, on the participants. Anything longer causes exhaustion. Rest in such a group is difficult. As pastors and find it difficult to relax. So some flow of it's unsustainable. You see, it, it sounds to me like you're basically overcharge you overcharge your computer and it's short circuited. Well, and it's like I mean, you talk about the role function being situational, you can only do it for short amounts of time. Yeah, fair, fair, but it's not I don't see why it's an, an ideal, I would say, is quite you know sustainable is it not yes it's sort of like i don't know like um an information orgasm <laughs> you know an energy orgasm only last ah, actually there is one like that but it's a little bit weird um, um okay. it's th th there was th when they put eight types from this where like say all result types and all uh process types then you actually got that. <laughs> it was like it was like a, right. an information energy orgasm. And they all got on well, apparently. Yeah. Okay, 
So, but basically, uh, here's my, my difficulty there. I came into this, right? I, I'm glad that you've, you have pulled out the stops here in getting us a methodology. And I am impressed by that, that you found something which is clear, which we can present. So I'm going to give you credit where it's due on that. But I came here thinking what, about what is needed for us to have a good justification for breaking away of following the functional dichotomy definitions and deductions in the, in the ordering of Model G to instead ordering it based on what looks good for the different roles and um, representing that benefit cycle flow. And I thought that the requirement was to be that if looking at this empirical experiment, that the benefit cycle was clearly, you know, the better outcome. It had something superior to it compared to, say, Quadra. Instead, it looks like something which over energizes and short circuits and maybe for a small amount of time that may be more productive, but it's not productive in the long run. We're going to have to look at more experiments with um, benefits uh, relations. Oh, no, certainly we need more experiments. But I think it, it also makes more sense in this then that you've got I, you might, what you have is you have too much energy, not enough energy, really unpleasant, not going anywhere. And then the ideal, and the ideal being the quadra. So actually, this experiment provides evidence for not having just a benefit cycle. It actually does down the benefit cycle in favor of quadra. What, there's, a, there's a wrinkle in the next experiment when they did ring of social, ring of progress. Okay, that's interesting. Let's look at that. Okay, that's uh, this one. Okay. The rings seem to ring of progress. So great interest it includes two parallel rings of social order benefit such a combination gives an interesting effect to so two parallel rings so extroverts and introverts like externality and internality yeah so basically it's almost like a, a representation it's it's almost right. like a, a, a an a, an an organism eight people that are one organism although they're not really eight people they're two sets of four people what they're all together though and then they're all together. Yeah, it's a group of eight because it's so so, it's so they're all eight. left. They all say uh, result types or all, all types. Uh, all process types. Right. It's not really, a, a, but then you can't really say it's it's two rings together because those rings are they're also interacting with each other and going across and diagonal and all the rest. Well, we, if we go through it's what just, it says, we can... it's just a, it's just an eight type jumble. Okay, so young is when you put together all process types and or all result types together, does adapt for a while. The rings seem to ignite each other. Extroverts reveal introverts and make them more active. The degree of activity of both is approximately the same. There is mobilization of forces, strong intellectual dominance, emotions manifest and fade into the background, willingness to make decisions and joint action with a focus on practice feeling of increased interest in everything. Okay. And it has the control, I imagine. I don't know. I mean, it, but, but, I mean, for they this, should do. It, it better do. I mean, if you, you see, we, you, know, you, put, you put eight, eight people of eight types together, right? And they all got far more energized how can you show it's not just because there are more of them together rather than because it's actually a very careful sophisticated well, pair i mean I, if i was designing uh, an experiment I, I would i wouldn't do it around conversations i would try yeah. and do it around yeah. tasks fine fine look look fine yeah it's not ideal in terms of the methodology fair enough but i'm being charitable here but what i can't be charitable on is when there's no control we just got a single experiment and you can therefore cannot demonstrate that this is not just because there are more people talking at the same time. Well, this is what they did. And I would I would go to greater pains and think about it and try to have all those things, yeah. try to because, because try to have it. like double blind and try to have yeah. it nicely human. set up. 
but it requires resources. Yes, but uh, it requires resources. They manage to do one, they just do another. No, they, yeah, but you see, the thing is, though, this, they, I personally think that given when this was done and they had more resources, they should have had more elaborate experiments and had the whole thing laid okay. out in terms of the methodology and it be reproduced. Okay, okay. Ben, Ben, this is where I am now, okay? So just taking types of four together, if I'm very charitable and I and I believe all their assumptions, then I can find evidence that the benefit cycle isn't the most energizing of the various groups of four. First point. Second point, if you then put things together exactly like um, Model G would suggest, we have eight different groups together and two benefit cycles working in parallel, a long process or a long result, I have diddly squat because I don't have a control. Yeah, but do you know what I did though, from a semi-empirical point of view is what I did is I compared what the types of good at in the benefit rooms and there seemed to be a lot of complementarity in so, those things okay. so for, so for example you if you uh uh ILE is a good communicator do you agree that ILE is a good communicator they're they're a reasonably good communicator a commu especially of ideas yes they're good at communicating right. ideas right. So if, is also very good at communicating ideas pardon EIE is also very good at communicating. Right, yeah, right. And so if we look at the Rexes, as I call them, the, the right extroverts, and so, uh, and again, and so you've got the role, and would you say that EIE is good as a teacher? It depends. If they were trying to inspire as a teacher, or are you trying to teach factual information as a teacher? Depends individual, of course, we're right. heavily generalizing, but in general terms, I expect a teacher to have a bit more extroverted logic. Right, okay, so I actually did a graph on this. Uh, it's all the way up here. Is that it? Yes, that's it. So I was looking at roles. What is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Educator. So... Okay, but, uh, but Ben, can can we just can we just pause and just reflect on the fact that th th this experiment has not achieved any of the goals which you set out to actually do, set out to achieve. For them. Yeah, th this experiment. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, has not, well, has not uh, adequate has not. Well, at well, all we should, indicated well, how about this? We should need. put our heads together and come up and try to design some experiments. How about that? I think that's a great idea. Right. A great idea. I've, I've had one example, one idea, which is about psychological asymmetry. Go on. So the idea for that was that we have experiments which are related to each particular information element. And you have people take, say, four, a pair of, well, a group of four of these experiments along rationality or along irrationality. So say, an extroverted logic experiment, an introverted logic experiment, an extroverted ethics experiment, and an introverted ethics experiment. These, these are not experiments, these are exercises, exercises of a rational nature. Now, and then you do their Z scores. You make it so that you can take standard deviations, you can see variance, right? And you compare their Z scores as a result. If it's the case that a person's highest Z score in one um say extroverted logic then for sociology to work for psychological asymmetry to work then their lowest z score right would be introverted ethics with the other two somewhere in the middle and if you, you can do that as well with the irrational version if we can consistently show that pattern that is a solid yeah, because that's, that's one of the things i would say to people who are that about young in time is that we can say yes but look it's not just random when somebody yeah, has yeah. these traits this property it entails this other one and so and, just, and that would be the entailment as well where it's like the strong ethics entails weak uh logics or however you want to drain them. but what i did with this i was looking at the complementarity between the social roles in thinking about social mission and social adaptation 
Now, don't explode when I say this. I what I did, do you promise not to explode? In explode in which sense? Combust? Right. Combust. So, I won't combust, I promise you. Right. Okay. So, if somebody is an educator, yes. So, if someone in the teaching realm, uh, and they've got these and they've got these various roles uh do you think a good a good school teacher needs to be able to supervise the pupils i think a good teacher does need to be in a position of seniority over their pupils yes in that sense supervise makes sense right well i you please don't tell me you're going to then say they need to be the supervisor type with the students being supervisees you're not going or to how about this say somebody say you're in charge of somebody and you're supervising them yes when they do something wrong you have to tell them how to do it the right way so you have to switch to educate them and then say and then also we said with the educators say you've got now i've framed uh entp as the debater because as you've shown most ILEs are good debaters so those are useful communication okay. skills for a teacher I mean, an SLE so, is also right. a good debater. Right. An LI can be good. So, wait, who's a good yeah. debater? I think SLE can be a very good debater. Yes, SLE is a good debater. LIE yes. can be quite yes, good. Yes, because they are, in a, they are in another ring and they usually get the role of the promoter. Right. But that's different. Yeah. Anyway, so then we got out, then out of the SFs, uh, for educator being able to perform and hold the attention of the children. Would also be useful now all of these four useful things they're all in the same benefit ring how about that okay supervisor inspector promoter crafter no no no, no hang on no no that, that's club hang on where where is it i'm trying to look for it here um now remember this is these are roles these are not types these are social roles okay 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 so debater Eile. okay debater is it supervisor right debater supervisor supervisor being in uh lse okay debater supervisor performer and where's the nf i can't see it reconciler no. no no i mean you were looking at the educator as the nf oh i guess it's, it's then it's very difficult to follow this table where where's okay so you're trying to so you've taken you've given names to types and you put them in a benefit cycle okay what, no, what, no, does, no, you see, what, does see, what does this demonstrate yes what is it what is it demonstrate? Right, okay so you know these names of these types yes these are the kersey role variants and what and they actually go into a benefit run. Now they only do it for the extroverts but they actually go into complementary roles and this is important because the social adaptation shift oh, is yeah. complementary to the social mission and I made a lot of notes on this on a lot of graphics, but you didn't want to go through them. I did it especially for so uh, you, ESFJ. You, you, it looks so, like you surprised the introverted thinker. It's one of our commenters. But so you're saying you've taken the KSC roles. You've yes, because he looked at social roles, and Victor is also looking at social roles because that's the point right. of social mission and social adaptation. Okay, so in other words, just by ignoring socionics types now and going just KSC roles. And then treating those as if they're in a benefit cycle, like in socionics, but you get some sort of collect some sort of coalition of names, which sort of intuitively makes sense. Well, but these roles, the point here is looking at complementary roles, and as I've said, with Ian, if you're looking at somebody in the teaching role, they need to be able to supervise, they need to be able to communicate, and they need to be able to hold attention. If you're a supervisor, you need to be able to tell people how to do it right, and you need to. Communicate now. Usually, what's interesting I mean, is there's a greater right. amount. Wait a minute. There's a greater yeah. amount of complementarity within the roles of the super ego pairs. 
So, for example, educator with supervisor. So, so you call the you call the ILE an educator. Well, uh, no, I called ILE a debater. Debater. You called the ILE a debater. Okay. Why is the debater the best role you could possibly give to this type? I mean, okay, fine. Well, well, okay, it, it, okay. Is that the best? Okay. Out of all the types, is Ailey the best debater? I don't, I, I don't know how to substantiate that. Well, from your anecdotal experience. From my anecdotal experience, again, I don't know how to substantiate that. I like, I don't shy away from debates. Um, Eric from Talking with Famous People doesn't shy away from debates. He's but a debate then, coach. Yeah. Well, then you look at, say, Ben Shapiro, not an ILE, L-I-E. He's a very much a debater. I think there are, well, it, there are there are multiple examples of people who are great debaters of different types. So this idea that ILE is the debater is a very questionable assertion. And I wouldn't be surprised to suggest that all of these well, names are probably very questionable assertions. Oh, I remembered something as well. It all of the types, all of the types in the the Rexes, they're all the zero types for each uh, level. So, for example, uh, the zero type at the psychological level is E I E. Uh, the zero type at the physiological level is L S E. The zero type of the intellectual or informational level is ILE. Mm -hmm. And the zero type of the social level is SEE. Right. It, okay. So what does zero mean? Wait, it's just a point of reference for it. And it actually became it, it it was actually one of these things which came out in the integral types of certain relationships. So, for example, mm. when they looked at duality, Auschwitz said that duality was the most comfortable uh, relationship. Yeah, it, it, that's debatable. Right. You know, yeah. Which, right. yeah, exactly. That's the thing. It is for, uh, and, and you see, the thing is, is there's four different levels for each of the uh, relationships, and it's an integral type. It would have to be a separate hangout on integral yeah. types. Fair enough. I'm just, yeah, yeah. Okay. This this looks. I'm not sure how this would be an experiment. Right. This, 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 so this looks to me like you're you're playing with different names and applying a heavily a heavy. Well, I'm looking at social roles, something that's empirical. Yeah. We can actually go, how well does this go with this? So. So I will ask you, what is the role? Because you love quadras. What is the role yeah. of ESE? in the alpha quadra in that group of four to keep up the positive emotionality and what about in terms of like what they would bring to the event bring to the party physically um positive emotionality which may involve more laughter more physical movement that's more extra presentation but it comes in there it could have more parties and games organization of ah. parties, games what made you say organization well because they want to make things happen and set things up so that right. people enjoy themselves right so hold that thought organization so uh what we have then is if you look at the super ego type of uh ese uh entrepreneur yeah. la yeah. They are also about uh, coordination. And so and what I'm going to do now LS. is I'm going to show you that graphic that I had all the way up here, but never got time, never got the opportunity to show. Right. Then, so then, then. we're looking at roles. And then I've got, I've got it all marked up. I've got all the similarities from their point of view with uh, this super ego pair. So you said there about organizing. You did yeah. say organizing. But Ben, I would say organizing for an EIE. I'd use it for an LSE. I use it even for an LSI in a different way. Making things happen, putting okay. things on. Now, EIE and ESE, more making things happen, putting things on for people to enjoy, to enjoy or have some sort of emotional experience from. I don't think EIE is less inclined towards organization, although it will be more in an abstract way. And I think LSE is probably the, the most obvious organizer 
So it, it, I don't see why benefit cycle comes in here. This is well, cherry picking. Really well, this is well, this is because you've got social mission and social adaptation. So it makes sense to me that when you're going to do a social adaptation shift, then the role should be complementary to the social mission. The role so, should be complementary to the social mission. Yes, and so what we've got to then do is ask ourselves, what is ESE good at? What is ESC? So, so sorry. What do you mean by the social mission? Just to be on it, we're, we're clear. Well, the way I see a social mission is based. It, it's sort of. It's all. It's pretty much. Galenko's equivalent of. Yeah. Of, a role variant, based yeah. on the two strongest functions. Oh, okay, a so social role. Leading him demonstrative place together. Right. It's, so it's, you're saying it's, that extroverted logic for an ESC should suit the pursuit of extroverted ethics and extroverted sensation in model G. Well, and so what I did is I looked at things like. Uh, yeah, that makes that makes sense. Um, oh, I wouldn't necessarily agree with the pursuit of the demonstrative function, but I do believe it makes sense that the role function should suit the pursuit of the leading function. I think that is straightforward right uh what about so we had this there's this bit here now in the actual graphic yes it got uh it got put under si so uh so this is the ese loves to make yep. gifts serve others and is a perfect event and leisure organizer a low-key leadership role because folks are being told how to help i imagine that's how it's going to go by because you know things have to be organize we've got to do this we've got to do that you to do this all this and anyway and i think it is the jolly organizer uh this is a small scale version of the role of coordinator mobilizer of resources think yeah. ceo okay so well, one thing i'd i'd say to this is why can't it be the case that the esc is blocking their extrovert their role extroverted logic with their introvert sensation in the vertical block why is it LIE-ish? Wait a minute, say that again. In the same way to our vertical blocking before, why isn't it just that the ESC, in creating a very positive social experience, yeah. is using the extroverted logic with introverted sensation to organize things in the here and now to make people enjoy themselves? There's no strategic element to this. Right. It's not I'm sort of comparing it at the level of, if you compare it at the level of whole type, uh, what I'm saying is you can see here that what it's about is you can see that ESE is a good provider of resources. You see, the reason I asked you about the quadra is I thought you might say things like, because in the past you've said, oh the, uh, oh, the Alpha SS will provide all the food and all of the things for the for the alpha nts you have said things like that in the past I, I may have talked about things more simplistically in the past fair enough so and do you agree that uh ese is good at providing resources what do you mean by resources well food the essentials of life i think they Provisions. are well, yes i think there is certainly a trope, and I think it's one which is justified by a great deal of, um, of, of anecdote, that ESCs will provide, will be likely to provide lots of food and make sure people are well fed. Right. Okay. Right. So typical Jew Jewish mother. Statement. Right. Okay. Right. So, that's that role here. Providers work to furnish others with the necessities of life, to serve others, to see to their welfare, to make sure they're well provisioned and part of the group. His outgoing public role can be acted out in the form of the banker benefactor case, da, 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 or the roles. So then, then so what I'm looking at, I'm yeah. looking at complementarity between this and this, the coordinator. And it comes together here in the event mm -hmm. and leisure organizer, where they're gonna have to do a bit of, of this okay. directive coordinating of resources. Ben, when, I, I just want to, sorry for interrupting you again, just one thing. I think we are, well, for people who aren't strong in extroverted logic, this has been 
an absolute rainforest of information. And I am worried that people are burning out here. Okay. I'm also worried that my bladder is filling up here. Um, if you, I think we should reach uh, we should reach a point quickly on this. Right. Um, okay. I will finish with this then. So this is yeah. something about uh, I'll, I'll, this is about the shift of uh, ESE to act a little bit like what LIE is good at. Not like the type of what they're good at. And what they're good at is coordinating resources. So right. do you agree that LIE is good at coordinating resources? LIE? Yeah. Not in a CEO as, role. Not as good as LSE. I wouldn't say so they're more st strategic focused than resource focused. Right. They can do it, but it's not like their thing. The, the logistical side of things, right? That's that that that's pragmatist area. So yeah. if we can do a bit of that for social reasons, and LIE, well, they can do more of the organizing from a strategic point of view. They can do well. They may try to use extrovert sensation, but they have much introvert introvert sensation. Actually, the logistical side for an LIE may be their weaker point. Right. So what you notice is when you read, say, a block like this of, of Victor's, is that this will look like a smaller scale version of uh, LIE. And now I'll go through these, these little bits because I know you want to wind up. Yeah. These two functions, TE plus and NE minus, are in the social mission block of TENX, i.e. entrepreneur, LIE, in humanitarian socionica. Named entrepreneur, but who would argue that TENX enacting the role of CEO well, who would argue against them at, in acting it well? Uh, ESE is in the same supervision ring, information metabolism, and social benefit ring, energy metabolism, as LIE. Sh uh, oh, yes, the energy metabolism is shown in function-related task execution, e.g. performing a heavy TE-related task shows the energy, in, shows the information energy to enact it was there. Compare LII, who due to lack of energy for TE application, few would know has high information metabolism for TE. It is easier to see the energy metric of a function applied than to see TE info metabolism in the TINX's head. See the fine print in the inflation avoidance block. When FE plus and SE minus cannot get the job done, ESE can switch to TE plus and NE minus. Usually the role enacted by the superego type is complementary. ESE can play provider supplier and the TENX can play coordinator mobilizer. So you can see how both types are good at moving resources. This complementarity is why the text in the social adaptation block frequently reads like a smaller scale version of the text in the social mission block of the super ego type. E.g. role T plus here above reads like a smaller scale version of lead T plus and TENX. TENX profile, an enterprising person who quickly moves from words to action tends to pursue its goals with great determination and energy over to you. It's not very convincing. Oh, and then the other bit here, I mean, where you were saying that they should act more like the activator. That's like, right. I, I can play the part of Bugs Bunny, therefore I'm very good at running away from foxes. Which depends so, on where you pay it. I mean, it's, it's, it's very, I mean, it's, it's questionable if I can even play the part of Bugs Bunny. Right. What is the reason for this? What is the model right. A? So you um, think, so down. one of the things you bring up is that a person is more likely to, you, you said that I said that a type will change to their super ego rather than activate. I did not say that. I said that they change, that they can enact a role that is well performed by their super ego, just like in the case of providing resources and coordinating resources. But the, the, right. the, the entire basis of these roles are very questionable. And there are many other types in the middle who perform those roles better. Well, we can go over that in future. So well, it, this it, it, bit it, is it, comparing the two. Now, but I have, this is where I have some, I have some uh, TI reasoning for you as well, based on things that you accept. So about what would happen. To enact a, an, an ENT, this is for ESE, to enact an uh, ILE typical role with ILE thinking would require two impossibilities, changing rationality irrationality from EJ linear assertive rationality to EP flexible active irrationality, changing form of cognition 
Infomatabolism metabolism from vortex synergetic left positive positivist dynamic to causal ah, determinist right no, positive no, static no, which no, would require no. a reversal of all charges fex would and have to change charges but when it would act say like the super ego it doesn't have to change the form of this cognition and it doesn't have to change the the galanco temperament so but enacting an entj typical role coordinating resources the role would allow esfj to stay in its social adaptation block uh same as that which uses role playing t plus and not any mind nb the tn uses social adaptation and has the same form of cognition same galenko mindset weak functions of the ese would not be required to enact the coordinator social role but in a different type of relationship they are going to clash on each other and this is where we get back to that the, but, the issue with well, relations of social benefit but the, the, the bear, bear. what i don't get is this LSC, are they not very good organizers of resources are they not perhaps the best type for organization of resources well they've not got the strategic vision neither with does the weak the, ni neither does esc no but that's why i said they're a smaller scale and, and version. Why and why do you need a week of a, a strategic vision for the organization of resources? The organization of resources is not a strategic thing. It's a logistical thing. Well, that's the thing. If it depends how you're doing it, if you're doing it on a logistical level, ESE and LSE are good at that. That's the logistical intellect. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure Ben, that any type is very good at organizing the resources in its particular sphere or field. But we're talking specifically, I imagine, about resources. And I imagine yeah. with a concrete things which we're putting together yes. and the jing, there's lots of detail involved in the here and now and lots of energy and bustle required to get it done. I would say that LSE fits that perfectly. And ESC can fit that rather well insofar as it has some access to extroverted logic and has the introvert sensation, extrovert sensation already there. And that the LIE actually struggles with a sort of logistical aspect because they're more, like, while they do the organizing, they have a vulnerable inch for the sensation. But in saying that you would like ES, these types have, yes, it's within the same temperament, but um, hang on, I just want to go now. So just have, we got question, have we got questions? Yeah, well, Maybe you could put some questions on screen. Is saying all organization resources not necessarily logistical. Yes, depending what you how you define resources. Well, yeah, that's uh, the thing. I mean, if yeah, you if you yeah. are organizing resources yeah. towards a long term strategic objective, that's better for the NT club, especially for the gamma NTs. Yes, but what are these resources? Are they strategic resources? Are they tactical aspects when you think of resources it implies logistical i think it does well i mean if it's in terms of um, people and if you think of a ceo yeah a ceo you know when we did this bit here about the event planner that's just one event that's not got your long-reaching strategic objectives that say a ceo has with the 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 the, the, the yeah. lie yeah, yeah. is a lot better at doing Fair enough, but well, what I don't understand is what is, what is, what makes the LIE, the ESC, the LSC, and the uh, and the oh, hang on, EIE. Um, why aren't they all just good at organising resources in various contexts of what resources is defined to be? Well, they are all <laughs> EJs. They are all linear, linear assertive. Yeah, yeah but no, it, usually, yeah. it's. There's a, an influence of, of club on here. Hmm. So uh, you see here like um, the jolly organizer and it's an, an, an event organizer. The point is that it's... Oh, oh, no, oh, that makes sense. So yeah, ESC is a jolly organizer. The LSC is the organizer. Yeah. yeah. But, but you see, oh yeah, that's another thing. In Model G, <laughs> yeah. each quadrant is a representative from one of the clubs. So you got SF, NT, SF. That's not right. No, that's, that's not right because this is a combined. But it would be, if it was the proper model G, it would be each one. Because this is two 
two uh, crash together. Oh, yeah, no, that's not Model G. I can see that. Yeah, because I got that wrong. Because if it was, if it was um, like this, Whoa. then you could see there, SF, NT, NF, ST. Okay. Right. You're pointing to connections with things, but I don't think those connections between things have much value at this right. point. So, so again, you've got this idea of adaptation, and so when you read the uh, the block, it looks like a smaller scale. Ver and I've made the connections between the different bits. So uh, we've got e ESE here. Easily mm -hmm. interacts with people in B two, and then here. You've got the role FE, where it's they act like a smaller scale ESFJ, but they're doing it for really they're doing it for sort of extroverted logic reasons, like to get contacts and things like that. So, sorry, sorry. It, they act like a smaller scale ESFJ by being cheerful and optimistic. His sense of humor is inexhaustible. It jokes may be perceived as inappropriate at time. Yeah, it's not a very good version yeah. of it. That's so, what I mean I'm by gonna, smaller gonna, scale. But Ben, LIEs don't sound like that. They're not. They can be po they can be optimistic. They're not about infecting people with a positive mood. They're not into that. They're gammas. The only the only the only type in gamma that could be like that is an SEE. LIEs are so focused on the practicality, how things are working, and they're actually trying to look at couples being more tough with their extroverted sensation. Why would they spending the time being cheerful and optimistic and having? Well, I mean, it's playing a role. Humor. They're playing a role in order to make contacts. <sighs> yeah, but when they're playing a role in order to make contacts, why they they wouldn't be able to play that role with very good um, introverted sensation, which is what you need is needed for the more positive. And more well, I mean, that, emotionality. Yeah, it's it's like I said. In terms of playing the role that ESE is good at, so we could say one of the roles they're good at is say host. And so, this you know is why you have these things with Peter. Right then. So one of my best friends in LIE, he yep. never once invited me round to his house. When well, baby. <laughs> <Maybe. laughs> I'm a better host than he is. Well, but if I'm you, not, I'm not in the benefit cycle of ESC. Well, maybe, maybe this is a. Uh, um, he turned me down. He didn't want uh, to come. To <laughs> well, maybe, or maybe, um, if you if you think because frequently, uh, LIE somebody who resembles LIE, frequently, uh, they are either Enneagram eight or Enneagram three, and the Enneagram three is very much a yeah. social networker. I'm not even sure of that. I mean, I, I, I know some uh, LIEs. So take, take Peter. Peter Bartle, right? Peter Bartle, he says he does not identify with a single... Well, I, I think he's LI, but, you know, that's a different matter. Uh, well, maybe. But he doesn't identify with a single Enneagram type. Um, but, okay. So, well, I think his problems with his suggestive function are even more apparent than his problems with mobile as much. But anyway, let's not talk about Peter on this. So... What this is the thing, I find it balmy, utterly balmy to start saying that super egos have some sort of special connection which allows us to play the roles of them. And going through this exercise of the last half an hour, you haven't been able to show why it isn't balmy. <laughs> and also well, in the last two hours, you have not been able to show why Model G has either one logical coherence in the metaphysical sense, or two an empirical um, justification for its use of the benefit cycle over the quadra. Well, well, I let the audience decide. In terms of how many things you've achieved in this conversation in two and a half hours, there hasn't been success in this regard. Well, I, I wanted to achieve, so you say. It's not, really up to, it's not really up to us. The audience has the final say. An audience has changed. Say. No, okay. So each given audience, they have the final say. Uh, fair enough. It's for the people to to, to watch and make right. up their own minds. Fair enough. But, and and did they want to go over my channel and want to look elsewhere and find out more about Model A and Model G and the various 
uh, comparisons and what actually gives more explanatory power and leverage for you, then uh, all well and good. Yep, I say let the people decide and we'll see what happens. But Ben, thank yes. you so much for all your time. It's been a long time and you've given a lot for this conversation and I appreciate that. And I appreciate you've gone to such efforts to put together these slides. And I'm yeah, sorry, even so though we didn't get through the ones that like say with, um, I was annoyed that we never got through the ones with um, ILI and yeah. uh, this one. Because mm. these, these are very complimentary, these two. Look at this. S-I-N-I. S-E-I. S-E-I is so risk avoidant. Prepare oh, yourself for any eventuality. Always prefer to have a scoop. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Well, I don't know. I, I'm stooping to anecdote here, but the reason I'm living out in Oxfordshire is because my SEI fiance, and most people would agree she's SEI, um, decided I want to live in Oxfordshire, even though it's going to cost a hundred, um, several hundred pounds in rent when we could have been living with our parents. That's not risk averse. You know, I, I don't think SEIs are necessarily risk. They're risk averse in some ways to avoid potentially awkward conversations. Right, but in terms of the the factual long term application, she'll be almost blind to that at certain points. If she gets, she just wants to be in a certain area and likes to feel for a place. What about this kind of stuff here? Is does she like well, a rigorous procedure or? Well, she is a physiotherapist, and she'll have to have a rigorous procedure. So there right. is some of that. She's she's very good logistically, I should say. Well, she's well, bully for Kersey because he would he named. Yes. Them after you named the S, he named them after that logistical intellect. Mm, interesting. So, in fact, in in uh, Kersey, your future wife would be categorized as a logistical accommodator. Yeah, I, that, that could work. I don't mind that so much. Um, Ben, thank you so yeah. much. Right I then, I've got to go to the loo, but it's been absolutely, it's been, it's been a pleasure having this discussion. It's been all it's been in many different directions. Um, and I, I feel it certainly covered lots of points, lots of information for people to take from this. Yeah. Thank you very much, and have a yeah. rest of your evening. Bye-bye, folks.